Mwahaha! No one noticed the title change. Hell yeah, finally. Nobody noticed the title change. Atticus, after I went live. Or maybe it, it was as I went live. Slightly late streamer. A streamer is never late or early. A streamer starts streaming precisely when they intend to start streaming. Which is when they've given themselves enough pep talks in order to finally be like, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. You can do it. It's fine. It's gonna be okay. You've done it before. It's gonna be all right. Do Joe Andy Lameo? Exactly. Holy fucking shit, I was playing a horror game and that scared me so much. Yeah, because something outside of the game scared you. Yeah, I know. I, I understand the feeling. Yeah. Yeah, see, the games need um, surprise talking to you from a streamer that you didn't realize the window was open in order to scare you. Because the game itself is not enough. Because it's a game. Because it's a game. I swear to God, if we start with uh, su Sudoku again. I, I wasn't going to, but now that you've said it. Do 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 Hey Joe, do you have any advice tips when reading scripts script for a video to make it seem not as obvious that you're reading a script? Um have you have you listened to my videos, Timmy Timmy? Cause why are you asking me? I'm bad at this. <laughs> this is a that's the that's the worst part of my videos, you know, aside from the opinions, you know, like I'm, I'm not really good at that. I, I would just say practice. I don't know. Do multiple takes and see if you can get a good one. Normally it takes me... Uh... So sometimes I will like just nail a whole paragraph first try. And usually I will record it again a second time just in case there was um, an audio glitch. This happens not that not that often, but I would say at least once, once a recording session. And my recording sessions are usually about an hour. Because that's when my voice starts to go. Um, so I like I don't like it to be obvious when I'm going to a new recording session. So my voice starts to. I think you can even see that on a stream. On at the beginning of streams, my voice is is more deeper. I sound a bit more haggard. And as uh, as the the streams go on, I think my voice gets lighter. I don't know if that shows up on streams. Maybe um, if you if you you're not going to notice it if you if you're there for the whole stream. But if you like start at the beginning of the stream and then you skip right to the end, I think you will notice a, a, a difference. Um, between them. Um, so I don't like to have that. So my, my limit is about an hour. Sometimes I go up to 90 minutes if it's a really good recording session, but like I have a hard limit around there. Um, and so what I, what I will do is like, like every recording session, there's usually at least one, sometimes two. Uh, it, it's almost like the recording software just shits the bed for a, a frame and it'll just be like, it won't even show up in the in the audio timeline, like the the waveform of the audio recording. It'll just be like, it just didn't record the middle of me saying a word. I don't know how else to describe it. It's kind of like it's kind of like just like it's just missing, you know. Um, so usually I record everything twice, even if I think I had a good take. Um, but on average, it takes me th whatever the finished audio length is. I will have three to four hours of raw audio that I cut that down from because of like bad takes and making mistake and like um, making some sort of noise with my throat that I didn't intend to make or uh, my voice cracked or I sneezed or I coughed and you know because I'm not a certain other YouTuber I take those out um, because I give a shit. Uh, so I usually have like three to four hours, three to four times longer than I did. So so for the uh, for a certain video, I had over 30 hours of raw footage, uh, of 30 hours of raw audio. Um, so it can be a lot, but it's not it's not too bad. It's it's the part of about making videos I that I hate the most actually. I really don't like it. But I don't know. Um, Adopting maybe a little bit of a persona while you're reading, like try to sound interested and engaged, but only a little bit. 
uh, there's a couple videos. I don't, I'm not going to say them because if, if you haven't noticed this and then you do notice it after it, those videos will be ruined forever for you, just like the room for me. But there was a couple videos in the, in the middle of my YouTube career um, that I purposefully recorded with a, with a smile on my face because people were saying that I was, I was, I didn't have any emotions and I sounded too dry in my recordings. Um, so I, I tried to, I tried to be like be more animated and sound more happy and upbeat. And I kind of sound like a serial killer to me. So I don't like it. Um, so I wouldn't recommend going that far, but just try to be sound more like engaged, try and like speak with a bit of enthusiasm. Like, I don't know, I don't know how to describe like the best process to do this sort of thing. Like don't read it once. Definitely read it multiple times. Know, know the script intimately enough that you know where to put the rises and falls in your speaking. Like you, the inflections that you need to have that you would that you would speak normally. Like like in, in what I just said just there, when I said normally, I said it with some emphasis. I just said emphasis with some emphasis. And that just makes me sound more animated as I'm talking. Well, I'm, when I was saying those things, those sentences just now, in my head I wasn't like... All right, Joe, you're about to say the word normally. All right, Joe, you're about to say the word emphasis. So make sure you say it differently. Like, no, you just naturally do that sort of thing. You know, like as your as your voice just kind of ebbs and flows as you talk. Um, so you have to like recognize where you would say those things if you were giving a presentation to someone that was speaking, listening to you in the room and uh, figure out which sentences, which parts of which sentences need that. And if it's a long script, then that's a lot of work, so good luck. But you, as you get better at it, it's just gonna come naturally to you. I don't really have to think about it that, that much anymore when I'm reading a script. I think that the Elden Ring video is the, the best uh, recording performance that I've done in a video. I, I feel like I've gotten better at it, maybe from streaming as well, I don't know. Um, I don't, e even as early back as, you know, The Witcher 2 video, uh, you know, which came out, you know, just recently, right? Um, I There's a lot of takes in there of the script that I don't like. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, whereas I much prefer the Elden Ring video for how, how I come across. And that's how the Witcher 3 video is for the most part as well. It's not a game. Hello, Joe. Been watching since The Witness, but never talked to you. You've inspired me to write about games. Thanks for everything. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Good luck, Oomphy Choomphy. Do you love Max or hate her in Life is Strange? I hate her. She's just the worst character. Alright, let's get the Sudoku on the screen. Let's get cracking. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. How do you avoid the mouth clicks? Uh just being very, very consciously aware of when I'm doing them and doing the take again if I have a mouse if I have a, a, a mouth click yeah it's it's a problem there's some words some sometimes in a, I will be recording a sentence in a script and the same word will make my mouth click every single take and I have to just keep doing it and it, I swear to god it's like landing on the sun station it's like this time for sure this time my mouth my mouth won't click and it does and I just have to keep taking it sometimes I've done a sentence like fucking 30 times I'm not kidding 30 fucking times until finally I get a take where my mouth didn't click on that word. Just, just like, I, and I don't know what to do. Like, I can't, I can't not say it that way. So, you know, sometimes I have to take a drink. Sometimes I cough and clear my throat. But, you know, I, I yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty bad. Um, the other thing that you can get, you can get um, good at in audio uh, editing is that you can splice sentences and takes together even in the middle of a word. So if like the first half of the sentence that you recorded is really, really good and the second half is really, really good, but individually the first half is bad on the second take and the second half is bad on the first take, you can you can just splice them together and if you get good at that, then no one's going to be able to tell. Like I, I did that, God, like gotta be at least 40 times for the Elden Ring audio, and when I watched the Elden Ring video back, you know, uh, while touching myself, uh, I, I can't remember or hear where I did those places, and that was me, right? So, um, I, it's, it's quite effective. Like, if I can't even tell where it is and I did it, then, you know. What? Oh, you're all surprised that you can splice this splice audio together like that. Yeah, I, I was too when I found out. <clears throat> do 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 do. All right, we've been live for ten minutes, and the game is already just is only just on the screen. All right, not everyone's here yet. Should we just start? Screw those people. If you're late, you get the hate. 
equals kek. Someone made an emote that looks like the minus two and plus two, except it's equals kek. It looks pretty good. Equals kek. I have, I think, 12 DMs right now on, on Discord, and I haven't looked at them yet, so sorry. If you, if you DM me yesterday, or I think at the late, the day before, I haven't looked at them yet. Do, 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 do. Where's, there's no Sudoku today. I didn't have time to find a Sudoku today. Hey Joe, I wanted to translate a video of yours for a couple of friends who don't speak English. Can I do it? I can also send you the SRT if you want. What do you mean? If you want to translate my video for your for your own enjoyment, you don't have to ask me for permission for that. You just just go for it. Hopefully the script is on um, on the WordPress thing so you can see it. But sometimes I do some improv improv and you can't see uh, and those aren't included in the script, so it might not match 100%. Um, if you're asking me, can you translate it and then you can send me the file and then I can upload the translation to YouTube, I would. Like that's a really cool thing you could do, but that's now getting into logistics work for me that I am already not doing well enough, so I'm gonna have to pass for now, sorry. If YouTube will still let you upload it automatically, that's fine. Remember that, remember like two years ago, like I think maybe it was as many as 12 videos and like almost every video had at least some part of it translated in some languages and all these the, so many people in, in the audience had been translating the scripts and subtitles into different languages and YouTube just didn't tell me they were doing it so I didn't know I just like and then I found out one day and I go on and it's just like just fucking like so many of them in every video like what the fuck why didn't I get a notification or an email or anything like I really love the new chapter feature on YouTube. Yeah, I need to go through and add chapters to all the videos. There's lots of things I need to do. I need to update the banner for the main channel too. What is this game we are not gonna play Sudoku? Not today, no Sudoku today. Some of the videos actually have automatic chapters. Yeah, and they're pretty bad, right? There's lots and lots of little quick chapters. So is equals kek here to stay? Anderson JPH. Merrick once misspelled lull as L L U and that still around. So like equals kek had a stronger start than that, so we will see. Look at the chat just flooding with L L U J's. Look at this. I think the dragon picture is a, a part of channel. Oh no, I'm not, I don't think I can replace that. Although, if I could go back in time, I would have picked something else. Because having a dragon as your avatar is, is, is a bit cringe, but it was supposed to link back to the books, right? So it made sense at the time. I'm talking about the banner that's like the gray with white text that says video game analysis or whatever at the top of the, of the YouTube channel. Like someone just sent that to me, I think within the first six months of the, of the, of the channel, and I've just never updated it. <laughs> It's like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, that can stay up there. <laughs> like, at least Channel 2 has, like, a picture of fucking Hollow Knight, and it, and it looks like, like, um, the, the, it's like a co the Coliseum from Hollow Knight, so it looks like an audience watching a stream. That's why I picked that for, for Channel 2. Like, at least that has a little bit of a link back to, the, like, it's a stream, it's being streamed live, whatever. Like, the first one is just like, eh, someone said that to me, you know, thank you very much for doing that, but there you go, it's up there, you know? Do, 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 do. All right, it's been another five minutes. I think we can start now. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right, so this one is what uh, I think Mark did this one yesterday, not Simon. And it has a lot of arrows, some arrows, equal some arrows in the, in the grid. Um, so it's like whatever's in the circle at the base of the arrow. JK. JK. All right, here we go. In the previous episodes of Life is Strange. Previously on Life is Strange. Film little pieces of time. 
Little pieces of time. Of people trying to control me. Don't ever touch me again, freak. Yeah. It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> You're going to be sorry someday. And there she is. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. Great that was memories. His gift to us. Wonderful memories. Let's talk about your superpower. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. You're my business now. That's and Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? You want me to cut you, bitch? Please step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Please get me out of here. Notice how the recap doesn't include any of the choices you make? Nobody cares about me. Nobody. <gasps> What are you doing here, Max? Now, I know today was difficult for everybody. Miss Coffee, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Yeah. Please tell us everything. What the hell is this? Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I believe you what, were. What do you mean there was no eclipse scheduled anything. today? Surely the moon moving is going to cause more disruption than, oh no, a tornado. Like, sh like the moon suddenly shifting in the sky would cause, like, so much, like, knock-on tidal effects. Like, just all of a sudden, just like, boom. Like, oh my god. The Earth's fucked. Oh, it's still there. It's actually Earth painted white. It's not the moon. Squeenix. Yoshi, eat your food before Fatsby eats it. Eat your food, good boy. Eat your food, good boy. Eat your food. Come on, eat your food, buddy. Have you ever played any of the Dragon Quest games? I played the first one on the NES and I played Dragon Quest Builders, the first one, a little bit. Finn's playing that right now. Chaos Theory. Chaos. I like this music. Oh, we have the bunny now. Do, 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 do. Hi, whore. I knew Chloe would be all over this, so I better get moving. Time to look at everything again. You know you're hurting when you don't give a shit about music. Yep. It's amazing how happy Kate looks here compared to today. She's <laughs> basically pushed up to that roof. And I will use my power to find out why. <laughs> she looks this fucking she looks fucking miserable. <laughs> they all do. <laughs> she looks fucking miserable. <laughs> I'm miserable. Glad the media doesn't waste a second exploiting Kate. Now she has another video of herself all over the web. And even I'm in this one. Yeah, make it all about you. Oh, at least the news didn't mention my name. Wait, what? Yet. Oh shit. Sorry, hold on. I need to uh I need to turn my monitor off and back on again. Hopefully it doesn't affect you guys. Okay, let's turn it back on. Okay. There you go. So sometimes when my monitor turns back on, there's like um, there's like the very the very middle part of the monitor screen is is missing, and it's like on the far left side of the screen instead. I don't know if it's gonna have dual monitors or whatever, but like it's it's like it's it shifted the middle the very very middle slice of pixels to the left or the right. So if I put my mouse cursor in the direct middle of the screen, um, I I can see that like there's this like seam 
in in the in the monitor so i just need sometimes i just have to turn the monitor back on again and uh it comes back arcadia bay online news blackwell student attempts suicide on campus arcadia bay oregon a student at the at the prestigious blackwell academy almost jumped from the roof of a campus dormitory today with most of the student and faculty as startled witnesses authorities confirmed that the student kate marsh 18 had been troubled but information is scarce at this time dozens of cell phones recorded the event which ended when with an unidentified student talking marsh down to safety click here for video footage and further details i feel like oh is this like the night because i feel like that she should be like this getting more uh praise for this hmm. but i guess this is the same night Besides Rachel, it's been a while since anybody vanished from Arcadia Bay. Oh, okay. So it's I not. I shouldn't sound so disappointed. So it's not gonna be. We mean you shouldn't sound disappointed. What? Why would you be disappointed? Okay, so. It's gotta be. It's gotta be. It's gotta be Jefferson then, right? Like he just goes from school to school doing this shit. Or what? How long has he been here for? Maybe it's not. Does he teach different classes? <gasps> it's the science teacher. Missing persons list, Arcadia Bay, Oregon. If you have any information regarding the whereabouts of the following missing persons, please immediately contact the Arcadia Bay Police Department. Rachel Amber, missing since 04-22-2013. 2013 Elton Cassie, Melissa Lee Grayson, Winston Smith, Sunshine Ray, real name unknown. Yeah, so not many people have gone missing. All right. I sure hope these people treat her better when she comes back to school. If she does. Victoria Maribeth Chase, sending love to you, Kate. Mark Brewington, we love you, Katie. Come back to church soon. Courtney Wagner, hope you feel better. Zach Riggins. Blackwell Bigfoot's promised to win the next game for you. You're still showing up to the game, right, Kate? Kate. Thanks, Kate. You're still showing up, right? Taylor Christensen, get well soon. You are in our heart. Thinking of you. We're all behind we're all behind you, Kate. Father Lamont. Psalm 3418. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. Now David will get a taste of public surveillance. Damn. Fire David Madsen. He he's responsible. He left the door to the roof open. Yeah, you you how could you be so careless to leave the door to the roof unlocked, you monster? Actually, can I just read this? Fire David Madsen. A celebrating page devoted solely to the hopeful shit canning of the creepiest security guard in Blackwell Academy history. This is revenge for all the innocent students he harassed and planned to harass. Damn, and plan to harass, just, just fucking thought crime. Savor the hilarious pic of this dumbass above. <laughs> what? And feel free to join in the victory stomp. Coming this summer, David Madsen, Mall Cop. This is Miss Grant from Blackwell Academy. Regardless of your personal feelings, this inflammatory page of slanderous comments is very disappointing, especially at a difficult time such as this. Shut up, though I always support the right of free speech. Do you? I would suggest the owner delete this page to show you support the right of, of people to their privacy. You may wish for others to recognize your same rights today, someday. I mean, she's not wrong, but still. What are you doing, teacher? Stay in your lane. Evan Harris, what the fuck was Blackwell thinking when they hired a serial killer to protect the students? Oh man, he knows. Wow, so much funny. That's a meme. Instant karma, bitches. Hashtag justice served. Anonymous, this super freak followed me and my friend from class to a dorm one day. That's that's Justice Justin Williams again. Peter Ikes. This is the Illuminati who wanted my wanted cameras in campus bathrooms and drones in my head. For more ways to stop the Illuminati mind control, wake wake up at freeminded. Oh, that's Samuel. Eat shit, pit, pig fucker says. Tre oh, it's fucking Trevor. Oh man, Trevor just goes for the throat. Either I delete my page or I block everybody. Classic. Know where to hide these days. Classic Trevor. Max Caulfield, time is bunk. Douglas Adams, did you post this after saving Kate? Because I don't remember this being there last time. Oh, just just save someone from from jumping off the school roof. Time to update my Facebook page. 
Not gonna sleep tonight. Warren Graham, Max Power, Brooke Scott, watching you walk down with the cape from that roof was the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. Thank you. Dana Ward, you're a hero, Max. Thank you. Evan Harris, you actually made me proud to be at Blackwell. Bravo, Max. Bravo. Daniel DaCosta, Eriz Una Chicadura. Okay. Hayden Jones, epic. Juliet Watson, way to make the headlines, Max. Really? All right. So, is everyone gonna love us now, or is it just like this is just we're just Facebook cool? Everybody will be talking about Kate now. It seems like everyone's Black talking about you. Blackwell might as well shut down for the next month. Oh, I'm sorry, Lisa. I saved Kate by what? Plant. What do you mean? Fuck you, game. No. That's stupid. That's trial and error bullshit. You don't know how much water she put in? There's been so much going on, I almost forgot about the eclipse. All this atmospheric action can't be a coincidence. Where's that on the and news? All roads are leading to my tornado vision. All right, let's overfeed the bunny. Are you a hungry bunny? Here, nosh on this. I thought you're not supposed to feed bunnies carrots because it ruins their teeth. Hey, bunny. Kate will be back soon, and until then, I'll be catering to your every whim. About to leave, though. Jeebus, I am so freaking tired. I sound like a moron. But crime does not delay. I need to stay on top of this investigation. Crime does not delay. Kate's okay, Max. Take a breath. Get your shit together. You have time. Clean your mirror from when Alice came in and fucked it up. Pretty hard to focus on my class schedule this week. I wonder why. Wonder why. Your parents aren't calling? You're like, you're not going back to visit them for a while? Like, this is, this, uh, uh, like... A really big thing happened to you today. Really? Okay, let's read the diary. Best part. Now back to the good part. Do, 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 do. Yo, Max spawned a door lock. Wait, really? Oh my god, you're right. Maybe you have text messages? Oh, oh we do. All right, that's good. Wow, dad doesn't give a fuck. Classic dad. Wow, this is a lot. All right, here we go. This is we this is the last time I officially earned a great night's sleep. Okay. October 8th. Hello, world. Oh, we're into programming now. I woke up this morning and bought myself a gun. A different person, even if nobody knows yet. After yesterday's intense re revelations with my rewind power and saving Chloe's life among the other cray-cray, as Victoria might say. Oh, you like Victoria now? Me too. Events at Blackwell. I have to assume everything is different now, and I thought exposing my photos to the world was going to be hard. After Chloe dropped me off back at my dorm yesterday, I tried to find out more about that freak snowfall that happened when we were at the lighthouse, but the local meteorologists are stumped so far. Well, now there's an eclipse. I felt so jacked up that I pulled pulled an all-nighter on time and physics research. I'm killing jacked up beasts. Uh, objective. I have to meet up with Chloe. Are these, uh, does she doodle this as well? Or is this just like background to make it more interesting? Not being a and I ended up knowing less about my situation than 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 when I started. I really, I don't really think that my tornado vision and the snowfall are connected. Eh but at this point I have no fucking clue what to believe I'm just so glad Chloe and I are a team again that has to be destiny and just finally talking to somebody now I have to hit the showers and get ready to meet Chloe for breakfast lord knows I need it I ran into Kate in the showers and she asked for the October country back I love that book and I definitely need to get my own copy of course when I was in you haven't even finished it yet of course when I was in the shower Victoria and Taylor barged in and totally started ragging on poor Kate about the video just to be complete assholes they wrote the link on the mirror and just to be a complete asshole I didn't wipe it off I truly don't understand how they get off on acting like that Victoria has everything what does she gain by being a bully to Kate Marsh where you don't don't really know Victoria though like maybe Victoria has a really bad home life or like I, I don't know maybe Victoria everyone has problems Max 
We're supposed to be adults here, but I swear it's like Battle Royale just without the dystopia and exploding heads. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> Only Victoria could make me feel dirty in a shower. What? Oh man, Victoria has a lot of power. The plot thickens, just as the waifu does, and I can't get out. So after listening to Victoria and to- Wait! Are- Are, are you live blogging? You're, you're in the shower? Like, fucking, like... Like, back of the journal, pressed up against the tile with your pen out? Like, duh, 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 duh. the plot thickens, I can't get out. Like, wh what? What the fuck is this? So after listening to Victoria and Taylor rag on Kate about the video, I came back to my room to, uh, to, to find it trash, or at least messier than it was before. Now I have to clean up just to find Kate's book. Damn, my life is so hard. Really makes me feel like I'm teen pregnant. I bet Victoria did this because of the, that paint photo yesterday. I should have expected swift retribution. Another day, another drama, another llama. As if things weren't dra dramatic enough, I got a creepy text from a private number. Nathan, Victoria? No, it can't be. I'm too easy. I really have to start watching my back. I still have to give Kate's book back, so I went to her room. I knew she wasn't doing good, but I didn't know how bad, it, bad until I went in. All the lights were off, blinds closed, like some emo goth den, and Kate is in the opposite. Uh, and Kate is the opposite of emo or goth. Thank you. She was just crying in the dark, and it was so sad to see her like this. More sad. More sad is that I wish I could take a picture of her framed in her expressionist misery. Holy shit. Holy shit. This is just the best part of the game. She is just the most awful person ever. Kate admitted that she thinks something more happened to her than just a video. Plus she told me that Nathan Prescott gave her a ride from the party to the ER and she thinks he did something to her, but she doesn't remember what. It's hard not to believe Kate considering what kind of person she is and what kind of person Nathan is. I've seen for myself exactly what that fucker is capable of. Of course Kate asked if she should if she should go to the police and the principal. I felt I felt like absolute shit, but I told Kate she shouldn't go to anybody until she has more proof she was drugged. Okay, so just to be 100% clear because this this, this is actually a really serious real life problem if it was if it was if this was reality and like you could like talk through this and and you like oh man even that just sounds so hollow to me though like you sh she should have gone to the police and there's no way that a kid would have that much power over the school i think right but in game logic i think that would have been a really bad call I think game logic would have backfired. Max would have spaghettied out about, oh, and I also I saw him with a gun and I have time trial power. Like, like game knowledge, fuck no. But in real life, she should have gone to the police. That video doesn't help her case at all and this could be all backfire big time. She's going up against the whole Prescott empire, not just one rich white boy on dope. She wasn't too thrilled by my answer. I don't think she trusts me. Trust me to be the one investigating all this. How can I blame her? I sometimes wonder what I, I am actually doing besides getting myself in more trouble. Kate even booted me out of her room. Hello, everyday hero. Everyday hero. Do you hate Chloe? I, I really don't like Chloe. I don't think I'm at the point that I hate Chloe. Um, but I definitely don't love her. I ran into... I'm closer to hate than love. I ran into Warren, or rather... Warren was waiting to run into me. Naturally, he wanted to know what the hell happened in the parking lot with the Chloe and Nathan show. Once again, I felt like a dick because I should have gotten a hold of Warren to see if he was okay after we just left him in the lot. I do owe, owe Warren. You do. Yep. He's a nice guy. I only told him a little about what was going on with Nathan. The less he knows, the better for, the better for him. I would love to at least tell him about my ability to fucking reverse time and space, but ironically, I don't think it's the right time time or space. <laughs> Besides, he would want to marry me immediately just so he could have his own human time machine or capture me for scientific experiments or maybe go into the drive-in with him. You're going to turn this guy into an Andrew Tate fan after this fucking Max. What are you doing to this guy? Oh, wait, I did say I would go to the drive-in with him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he doesn't. Oh, he doesn't make a lame move on me. Not that. Oh, wait. Oh, so you do know that he's into you. Not that he would e egomaniac. Wait. No. Now the. So wait. You don't know. What is going on? Warren, the pendulum is like fucking like on a motorboat right now. What the fuck is it? Warren and I do have a lot in common, but he's like a super cool geek brother. D do you think that, or do you think that's what he thinks about you? Anyway, I definitely need a movie escape. Before catching the bus out to meet Chloe, I saw Nathan talking to David, which made me nervous. Otherwise, I had a nice so soundtrack ride to the Two Whales Diner. I met this cool fisherman named Mech Ready. 
and I went up to him and said, Good morning, you look like you're ready to catch some serious fish. <laughs> what the fuck? I haven't talked about going back in time. I haven't seen the diner in five years, but it looks exactly the same. Although now there are way less fishermen and way more dumped food carts than when we were kids. Chloe and I had the best backdrop to play pirate, old ships, and a big ocean. Chloe was late, duh, so I was happy to be distracted by seeing Joyce again. The dinner, the diner is like a museum piece. Isn't there a character? Like, there's a Joyce in Stranger Things too, isn't there? The diner is like a museum piece, except with customers. Better still, the food hasn't changed at all. Joyce seemed really glad to see me again, and she didn't give me a guilt trip for not staying in touch. After William died, she wanted to move forward with a new life and husband. Chloe did, doesn't want to accept that. Joyce naturally gave me shit for corrupting Chloe with my devil weed, though I'm not sure she even believed it was mine. What could I say? I, I can see she actually loves David, even if I don't see how. The breakfast was so worth the grief, though. That's like the b biggest plot hole so far is is the uh, is Joyce loves David. You see these like the, uh, the emoji cupcake on the right and the emoji coffee stain? See the, the two eyes in the bottom right and the two eyes with the cupcake? Like the cupcake is like peering out from beneath the frosting hair and like the, 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 the wrapper mask. Anyone else seeing the faces? It's pretty cute. So much drama and I haven't even finished my breakfast. Finally, Chloe showed up. More bubbly than I would have thought after almost getting killed in a bathroom yesterday. It makes me happy to see her smile, but that smile meant trouble since all she really wanted was for me to show off my rewind power. Yeah, why wouldn't she? So I did, so I did, and I have to admit, I felt like a total boss. Except I did start feeling weak and woozy the more I rewound. I even got a nosebleed, which kind of freaked me out. Chloe always wants more, so she demanded we go to her top secret lair. She still had to get pissed off at me. Who has a top secret lair? Because I dared to answer Kate's call. I'm not a fan of Chloe's petulant side. She tried to make me feel like an ass, but screw that. Kate was so happy I answered, I actually felt worse for her. Chloe has to know I can have two friends at once. Okay, here's the one thing I didn't consider, alright? Why didn't Chloe text Max? Why did it all have to be on Max's end? Do you think she tried and Max was just like, fuck it, I'm not answering that? I'm not saying, I'm, like, I'm asking, maybe maybe she did, and Max was like, fuck it, like, I, who cares, I'm in Seattle now, I have my new Seattle life, with my new Seattle wife, just when I thought shit couldn't, couldn't get crazier, Chloe took me to her secret lair, damn, the secret dump, perfect for Halloween, like where the vehicle and appliance ghosts of Arcadia Bay come to rot and rust, urban dystopia porn, why is everything porn, but instead of taking cool photos, Chloe had me do some really silly, silly kind of fun gun tricks, like yeah, like when she fucking shot the, the fucking car and it bounced off and killed her three times and I just kept rewinding it saying stupid gun that's not going in the diary until the guy Clo yeah until the guy Chloe owes money to showed up some skeevy guy called Frank he demanded Chloe pay him back or else I was shocked that he wasn't the loan shark I had expected but I could literally feel his bad vibe I still can't see how my best friend ended up involved with a loser like Frank whoa what's all this Frank hate Things got truly crazy when Frank took Chloe's gun, or should I say, David's gun, and now we have to worry about one more lunatic after Chloe, and maybe me. Alright, now we can, now we can, like, pin stealing a gun on Frank. I see a way out of this. Delightfully devilish, Max. Chloe really flipped out when she saw that Frank was wearing one of Rachel's, Rachel Amber's bracelets. Okay, there's no way Frank was dating Rachel, right? Because, like, didn't Rachel say in that note, like... Her secret boyfriend wasn't a bad bad boy, and Frank is kind of definitely the bad boy area, right? It, it can't be. It can't be Frank. But then again, it was addressed to C. Maybe that wasn't even even to Chloe. Maybe it was to Cindy, and it wasn't even written by Rachel. Like who knows? Think Twin Peaks. I haven't seen Twin Peaks. That doesn't help me, Merrick. That doesn't help me. That means we definitely have another suspect. This is so not how I intended to spend my time back in Arcadia Bay. After after all that drum drama rama volume XXXE more porn, Chloe and I ended up t taking a walk along the tracks deep into deep in the woods. We both needed to hear nothing but the sounds of nature and wildlife. I was shaking inside from our encounter with Frank, and though Chloe fronts tough, I could tell she was shaken too. She told me everything about Frank, which explains why she was trying to blackmail Nathan. It shocks me that the girl I grew up with grew up with watching SpongeBob. 
who who's this spongebob character is that the killer ended up in such a scary orbit I still i feel safer with her at my side and i was glad we had a moment's peace but then the spongebob nation attacked so it probably wasn't the best idea to lay down on the tracks and wax about life, etc. As Chloe's leg got caught in the rail just as the goddamn train showed up. Of course I was off trying to take a photo for my portfolio, and then I had another quick flash of my tornado, tornado vision. I could see it, almost feel it, tearing the sky apart. My head felt like it was just exploding, like in that 80s film Scanners. What? Just as fast as the vision came in, it disappeared. I may be in denial about what this apocalyptic image means, or doesn't. So then I had to save Chloe, for, Chloe from getting hit by the train, and you know what? The scariest thing of all is that I kind of wished that it hit her so I could have taken a photograph of the remains. Then I heard Chloe screaming for help, and I was shitting kittens. Her foot was stuck in the damn rail, and naturally the train was coming around the mountain when she comes. I was pretty proud of myself for coming up with a drastic, if not destructive, solution to saving Chloe once again, but just in case this journal ever falls in the wrong hands, it's going to remain our BFF secret. So there- Aw, oh, man! There we go. Didn't have to write that one twice. For whatever choice you made our morning adventure over chloe dropped me off back at my campus she was so sweet and said that this had been the best week of her life despite everything what that made me feel so awesome sauce chloe really sees sees us like we're taking like we're taking over the world but what if i hadn't been able to use my rewind power to get her off the tracks chloe might have ha have to lower her expectations and so will i Speaking of expectations, David Madsen stopped to talk to me without being a total prick. I thought he was going to bust me for taking the heat for Chloe. Yeah, that was weird. Why was it that David was like so so like nice and reasonable in in the hallway, and then all of a sudden he's like fucking like insane in the principal's office? What's that? Are there are there two David Madsons? Are there twins? And there's a nice twin and a bad twin. There's the good David and the and and the less good David because they're both good Davids. Like, come on, e even the bad David, you know, like the less good David, he wants what's best for everybody, you know. He has good intentions all over the shop. I thought he was going to bust me for taking the heat for Chloe's weed, but we just talked a little, and for the first time, I felt kind of sorry for David. He's a veteran. I know he probably saw awful things in combat. He said he doesn't want to fight with Chloe or me, but all the shit he's pulled in treating Kate like she's a suspect just makes it hard to get along. But I promise to try for world peace. Something odd happened, as if everything happening isn't bizarro, but I saw Kate having an intense conversation with Mr. Jefferson, and she ended up practically running away from him in tears. I wish I could have casually asked, oh, by the way, what's up with Kate? Like, he would tell me anyway. I know Kate treats Jefferson like he's an apostle or something, so what did he say to make her so upset? Just when I was feeling good about Chloe and me, I walk into Jefferson's class and see Nathan and Victoria actually sh sh shitting on my desk. Unreal. Asshole bookends. That explains the shit. So, Jefferson was either telling her, look, you need to face what you did and actually like go to the authorities properly and and like report this and like you have to go and do this or he was being a complete manipulative asshole and being like you know just get over it or like negging her a bit over it to, to his own ends i'm sure not, i'm still not sure about jefferson kate Mar kate marsh almost killed herself wow that's an opening my hands are shaking but i have to write this down while i can Right at the start of Jefferson's class, Kate went to the roof of the girl's dorm to jump. Every student and teacher was watching her like it was a Blackwell rooftop concert. I saw her actually jump, but I was but I was just about able to use my rewind to get her back on the roof. I tried harder than I than than I ever did, and somehow I stopped time completely. Yeah, that's weird, huh? Can you speed it up too? I made it to the roof, but again, my so when we're pressing RB, is that actually like canonically we're we're speeding it up? Or is that just a game skip? I made it to the roof, but again, my head felt like it was going to blow up. I knew that I couldn't just keep rewinding to save Kate. I had to try to talk her down on my own. What? She was already in so- What was the fucking- like? Look at the angel paint she gave Kate on top of the roof down there. That's kind of fucked up. She was already in so much pain over the video and all the bullying, so she wasn't going to buy everything, I tried to tell her. You see movies with people trying to talk somebody out of suicide, but it's very different when I'm the one doing the talking. It was pretty much identical to everything, like, very David Cage becoming human. I covered everything I could, and Kate almost jumped anyway. Cliché or not, I told her how much her friends and family love her, even if they don't all show it now. Lo and behold, Kate stepped back from the, from the ledge, alive. I almost cried in her arms, because it's all about me. I know this isn't about me, though. <laughs> Me, though I have to admit it, it was amazing to walk arm in arm with Kate from the roof to outside the dorm. Like I said, the whole school and police were watching us, almost completely silent. Then I heard what sounded like Logan yelling, Logan yelling out, Give it up for Max! Woo! And everybody started to clap and cheer, while Kate was like smiling. Yeah, I'm glad I enabled you to get all the attention right now. Talk about surreal, the people who ignored me or treated me like crap suddenly crushing on me. What? That might be the strangest thing that's happened to me this insane week. Really? 
and that froze time like five seconds earlier and that made me wonder if Victoria was watching and how she felt about all this. I almost wanted to find her just to get in her smug face for enabling Kate's suicide attempt. Such cruel bullshit. Though to be fair, Victoria wasn't the only one that was responsible. Nathan Prescott seemed to have disappeared, which is probably, probably a good thing. Okay, what chat, like clearly, <clears throat> Okay, what's 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 the escalation of things that were done bad bad to Kate? Vic what Victoria did is number three, right? Like worst thing that happened is that what's that she got drugged at the party and taken advantage of, and then it's unclear what happened when she was driven home. That might be worse than that. It depends. So those are top two, and three is what Victoria did, right? Do, 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 do. You didn't erase your. Yeah, that's true. We're we're number three, maybe. It's still. It is pretty bad, yeah. But why are we bl like blaming fucking Victoria the most? Because we just hate Victoria. It's all about. It's all about. It's all about Max. And after all that, I still had to talk to the police and give a statement. Felt so weird to do do since I've seen it in pretty much every police procedural show. I thought you're too much of a hipster. Watch those. I had to lie my ass off when he questioned me about the other students because I just didn't think the police are ever going to find out what happened. Yes, it, this looks like a job for Supermax. Right. Though, of course, I do love it when Chloe calls me that, even if I don't feel that everyday heroic for helping Kate down. What? Maybe it's wrong for me to think I have to... Maybe it's wrong for me to think I have to feel anything but grateful that Kate didn't jump. What was really odd was when all the students and faculty staff surrounded me and Kate. And Kate, then we started patting our backs and, sh and, sh and shoulders like we were heroes. What? I wasn't sure how to respond considering Kate almost threw herself off the roof because of everybody at school. But like I said, I can't blame everybody and I still don't really know where to point all my fingers. The very best thing was that even though Kate was still in tears and confused, I definitely saw her smile when she realized how happy everybody was that she was alive. I smiled too. The police in parody- Would that really be how people react? Like, am I wrong in thinking that most people would be angry with her? What the fuck are you doing, Kate? Right? Like, it, it, there would be anger, right? It wouldn't be... I don't know if... Ang uh, would it be? Why would they be angry? Because I, I don't know, actually. That's just where my mind went. I think people would be angry. Be bitch seeking attention. Maybe that area, yeah. Although she wasn't, for sure. That isn't what was going on. I feel like people would be angry. The police and param paramedics swooped in and then Kate was covered in a blanket and gently escorted to the ambulance. They didn't thank me or look at, look at me like I was a hero. I guess they're used to saving people without applause. Oh, okay. Damn, not enough attention for you, Max. But if I'm super honest, it felt pretty cool. Like I got a hug from the whole school. Maybe Black so maybe Blackwell Academy isn't totally bad. And then the principal fucking grilled me for no reason. It's not enough that Kate is alive, and though I'm not enough of an egomaniac to take the credit, I still had to <laughs> You are though. I still had to get the Blackwell third degree from Principal Wells. It was bizarre to be in this in, in his tacky office with Nathan Prescott, David Madsen, and Mr. Jefferson calmly talking about why Kate would attempt suicide. Would that happen? either surely the cops would be all over this instead not just like this is a, this is a school matter get the fuck out of here i don't think that's realistic either but whatever it was interesting um i was quiet but giddy inside just replaying in my head the moment when kate stepped toward me with a glimmer of hope in her eyes and so i told principal wells that i saw david uh har harassing kate and that set david off part of me wanted to kick him in the balls knowing he had something to do with kate's suicide attempt maybe more i thought about doing it then flipping a quick rewind but i knew that would be the start of a bad dangerous habit let Chloe get shot in the stomach three times, by the way. I took silent satisfaction in watching the principal strip him of his Blackwell duties for the time being. I wasn't even thinking of how this would affect Chloe's home situation. <sighs> but for now, David is going to be a veteran of is going to be a veteran of Blackwell. At least he survived, like Kate. After being grilled in the principal's den, I hung out with Warren in, on the lawn so I could feel grass under my feet and watch the fluffy clouds. He's such a sweetheart. He kept me from telling me he kept telling me how proud he was that he how proud he was that I stopped Kate from jumping. I don't believe that I did, but I have to say it's better than being treated like a, a hero at a school than a twee loser. Still, I told Warren that something ominous is happening at Blackwell Academy. Rachel, Amber, Chloe, and now Kate have all been victims, not to mention me. 
if I keep playing amateur detective. Wish I could have let Warren know about my power, but it's not the right time. As if anything is the right time anymore. Does he, can he do it too? Or is he going to be like, yeah, I have it. Like, the fact that they're bringing it up, he's like, yeah, I, I can go back in time. He's like, oh my god, me too. Yeah. In fact, like, I, I've been I've been feeding you time travel power cookies this whole time to give you the power as well. And to make the day end on the most surreal note possible, the sky went dark and we watched a solar eclipse that was not announced on the news or any astronomy site. What is happening at Arcadia Bay? Yeah, that, that, that didn't just happen in Arcadia Bay. Like, it wouldn't be visible from everywhere, but, like, l let's go. Like, what what the fuck? Alright. I really like reading these. I feel like it adds a lot to the story and, like, makes some connections. Oh, sorry, we have to read the, uh, we have Joyce. Talking to Joyce after five years was almost as intense as seeing Chloe again, especially right right back in the ye old two wheels diner. That clinking of silverware and the smell of sizzling bacon rewound me back to being a kid hanging out there with my parents for breakfast. I remember her always smiling at Chloe, even in mischief. Doubt she smiles at her hijinks now, but they still banter like mother and daughter, as almost as if they are mother and daughter. I moved to Seattle so soon after William died that I never saw how it affected Joyce. I'm glad she's not pissed at me for being selfish and never looking back. I still remember the last time Chloe and I saw him alive. I wonder how I wonder how often Joyce re relives that day. What? That's the worst kind of rewind, one you can't control. But if I could go back to that moment, what would I do? Probably take a picture. I can only imagine how Joyce ended up with David Madsen. Talk about opposites. You can tell she loves him, disturbing as that sounds. Maybe she just wanted a more structured life for herself. Obviously, it didn't work out that way with Chloe. I hope they both treat her right. Joyce deserves the best. Does she, though? I'll never forget Frank, if only because he's the... Oh, he... Frank gets an entry. All right. If Where's McReady's entry? If only because he's the first and last person I will ever aim a gun at. Eh you're still young how did chloe end up in this sketchy drug dealer's orbit the weird thing is that when i first saw him threatening chloe in the junkyard i was more shocked how uncreepy he looked i expected some try hard gangster but he looked more like a dumpster diving troll which i guess he kind of is since we were on his turf testing out my rewind skills for chloe's amusement i'm so dirty Though he didn't look like a serial killer, his vibe aura energy whatever was bad i could literally feel the hair on my arms prickling he wanted the money Chloe owed him, so it did not make sense he would hurt her, but I wasn't going to take a chance. So yes, I actually threatened him with David's gun. Ridiculous. Fortunately, none of us ended up like reservoir dogs. Excuse me? And I saw that maybe and I saw that maybe Frank isn't as scary as I thought. But I don't want Chloe near him ever again, since he was wearing one of Rachel Amber's bracelets for what the f what the fluff reasons. I doubt Chloe will be partying with him anymore, but he's at the top of our suspect list for now. You have a suspect list? All right, that's it. That's all of it. Now we do the text messages. Chloe. All right. This eclipse searches me out. Let's find out what's going on together. Yo, Supermax, how's the Blackwell hero doing? Okay. This, this sounds like a text message that was like days later, not three hours later. The hero is still shaking with nerves, emoji. You're a boss, but no emoji. You love it. I love that step dick got suspended. Do you? Then he's out of our way. Uh, listen, something weird and scary is going on at Blackwell. It's time for us to put the pieces together. Cool. I have something to show you. Meet me in front of the campus. She didn't answer. She didn't answer. Maybe she knows. Yo, yo, Max, just had to remind you again how fucking awesome you were today with Kate on the roof. I'll make you a superhero, I'll make you a superhero suit on the lab's 3D printer, cool? And you totally earned dinner on me, along with our escape to a planet of apes. Call me. So thirsty. Thanks, Warren. I need to rest my cape tonight. Feels good to get David Madsen off campus, too. I'll call you later, Kay. She won't, though. She won't. She won't. It's never happening. Mom. Max, please call us as soon as you can. We are so proud of you for saving this girl, and we want to know how you are. So please, please get in touch. We love you. Sorry, Mom. I'll call you back in a few minutes. Swear. Thanks for letting me gush, all, gush over our Blackwell hero. I miss your voice. We're very proud. So milk this moment. So that's where she gets it from. Okay. Let us know if you want to come up for a quick getaway, okay? We love you, Maxie. Insist. Mom, insist. What, Mom? What are you doing? What, Dad doesn't give a fuck? Dad probably spoke on the phone when, when she called. Doesn't have to text. Classic dad. Ooh. Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be... 
Well, why are the lights not on? Wait, are there no lights in here? Why do we suddenly have a lock? I hope you burn bright again soon, Kate. Oh, uh, not this poem. Overrated poem. Like, it's okay. It's a little overrated. That's a depressing thought. And it's always about Victoria. Victoria. Oh, Kate got a lock, too. So much hypocrite. Yep. Do they really need that crap on the door? Kate's still alive. Yeah, but they have to do an investigation. Uh oh. Whoa, hold on. Okay, I can rewind. <gasps> okay, we're safe. We're safe. <gasps> hey, how come there's no lights in the dorm? Hey, Max. I saw you go up on the roof and save Kate. I can't believe she tried to jump. Comfort Taylor, blame Taylor. You should believe it. She almost jumped because you and everybody here bullied her. Fuck you, what? Taylor. You're like blaming me? Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, yes. Yeah, fuck you, then Taylor. Just get out of here. Like, stop fucking with me. I hope you jump next. You that my mom is in the hospital. I'm done for the day. Fuck you, Taylor. I hope Victoria feels particularly shitty about posting that link. This time. Why is everyone like being like, whoa, what the fuck? Like, no, she absolutely needs to hear that she's responsible for almost causing a girl to kill herself. That's the appropriate response. She is responsible. Fuck you. Someone needs to tell her because no one else is going to. That's that's not me being a shitter response. That's that's the appropriate thing to say to someone in this situation. Hey, can you come in here for a minute? No. <gasps> Praying for a fast recovery, Kate Hart. Stella, Kate just wants to know you're in our, in our thoughts. Everyone needs attention. Kirby face. Yep, that needed a Kirby face. Waiting for you, Kate. Yeah, let's all go write messages on our wh whiteboards that she can't even see. So we make everyone feel like that we're a part of this. No money, no money, don't tell honey. What up, girl? Hey, Dana. How are you doing? Better than Kate. I just... Me and Sonny, oh, no, it's totally realistic, yeah. Everyone doing this in the dorm is completely realistic, yeah. Sorry, I'm not criticizing it for, for, for... I'm not criticizing the game, I'm criticizing the characters in the context of the game. It's good. I can't believe she would even attempt suicide. We're all responsible. She was depressed. Blame Victoria. No, we're all responsible. I think we're all responsible for what happened. Except for me, though. Right. I saved her. But you're the only one who went up to that roof with Kate. Thanks for saying it. Why was she on the roof? I think we know. Where was everybody? I was lucky. I was lucky. That's all. No, girl. That was not luck. You made a choice to save her. Like a superhero. Then maybe it's time to catch the bad guys. So what exactly are you saying, Max? Do you think David Madsen is involved? He finally got his ass busted too. I'm not sure yet. It's complicated. It's complicated. I don't want to drag you into this, okay? Not yet. Anymore. Not yet. We'll, we'll tap I'm you in, Dana, now. though. But people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sherla? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. Wait, what? We are bouncing though. Ooh. 
Hey, Dana. How are you doing? Better than Kate. We're all responsible. I think we're all re True. I was lucky. No, girl. Then maybe... So what ex Do you think... It's complicated. I'm getting... What? Victoria about... Not me. Wait, what? What what dialogue option did I just get? I don't understand. Do I have to go through all the trees and then use it? It gave it gave me a dialogue thing, right? I have to explore all the trees? That kind of sucks. I am wiped out, Max. We'll talk later. It wasn't the rewind option. It was extra informative. I thought it was. Th I thought that that dialogue bubble is the. You now have something new to say to this character. Hey, Dana. Better than. Blame Victoria. Come on, don't blame yourself. There are other people involved, like Victoria Chase. She definitely deserves a face punch for pimping that video. Yeah. I didn't do enough to step up. Now it's time for serious payback. Whoa. In other words, revenge. So what exactly are you saying, Max? We kill her. Do you think David Madsen is involved? He finally got his ass busted too. What? This? These? Do, these are not connected. I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure yet, but I'm on it. Weird shit is going down at Blackwell. Strange things are happening to me. The people. What? Victoria. Ba not me. Strange things. I am wiped out, Max. We'll talk later. Alright, let's let's rewind and do the other one and see if that does anything, because I'm confused at this point. Hey Dana. Better hey girl. She was depressed. I knew she was depressed, but I had no idea how bad. It must be serious to throw yourself off the roof. Why was she on the roof? We we know. So why do you think she was on the roof in the first place? Maybe Kate was so ashamed she got wasted on that video. I don't blame her, but it was pretty gross. Come on, you really believe that Kate Marsh wanted to get drunk at a Vortex Club party? Well, she so did. So what exactly are you saying, Max? Do you think David Madsen was those? David was involved? <laughs> what the, what the, why? What? Okay, so like it's not in this. It's with someone else. We just got a dialogue option with someone else. I'm so confused. Hey. Did Why was she on the roof? I was lucky. Where was everybody? That was bullshit. Where was everybody else? I know. You're a better person than any of us here. Hey, Max. I think I need to crash now. I'm just over everything today. Okay. You talked to Taylor? Oh, let's, let's find out. Do, do. Uh, Victoria isn't here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time. Go oh. Do her shit. Oh, it's now I can get into her room has unlocked. Oh, that's weird. Hey, Max. Oh, and this. I know. Victoria. But now I don't get to blame her. I must be upset since I saw her sneaking out of the dorm past curfew. You didn't though. Oh man, like you saw her? She was so like nervous when she left the dorm. She wouldn't even tell me where she was going. Probably to hell. <laughs> well, I have to go crash. <laughs> it's been a rough day as you know. Yeah. Thanks, Max. All your fault by the way. And it was like pretty awesome when you went up to the roof to save Kate. Victoria was wrong about you. Now I have to be alone for my nightly anxiety attack. Let me add to Talk it. To you later. Let me add to it. Jeez, Taylor actually seems concerned about Kate. Let me add to it. Hey, Max, come here. Do it. I'll do it again. I'll do it again.
then just enjoy your double anxiety attack. Okay, let's talk to you so we did it. Hey Dana. Better. All right, and then we're all responsible. I, I was lucky. Uh are we getting so getting this episode done today, chat? Or just like, it's not gonna even be like a fucking full episode today. No. Aw, Trevor is a sweetie. Good for Dana. Is he? Hey Dana, I've been thinking about you. He was like fucking having a slap off with Justin in the diner yesterday. Hey Dana, I've been thinking about you all day and I know how hard it was for you to see Kate almost jump off the roof today. Glad that Max swooped in like a superhero. I don't have any- Oh! Oh! Max was talking about how Trevor's talking about her. Okay. I don't have anything deep or smart to say. I just want you to know that you're a good friend to Kate and I wish she had more friends like you. You have been so good to me when everything else is so fucked up. I'm here for you always. I miss you, Trev. Damn. <laughs> just just any, any fucking way to just like, hey, Let's have a sweet moment so I can get Julia in your pants. Julia Watson. She's gonna wish she didn't. Dana, I hope you're doing okay after today. I don't want you to bother you, but I'm writing an article about Kate for the paper. I wanted to know if I could, if you could answer just a few short questions. It seems like there are too few answers. Let's talk of, let's talk when it's convenient for you, Kay. Hope you're well. Sincerely, Juliet. Yes, the Vortex Club does indeed suck. Yep. This is both sad Man, and we pathetic. Really need to be able to see that in every episode. All right, are we done. Are, are we really going into Victoria's room? Why would we go into Victoria's? Room? Can I just leave? Okay, I don't want to go into Victoria's room, but like the game is making me. The game is it's forcing my hand to go into Victoria's room. All right. I hope this is like investigation instead of just being like, hey, time to mess her her room up in revenge again. Oh man, her room's so nice. So nice. Let's mess up the photos again. Whoa. Since I've crossed the line from Snoop to Detective, I might as well search for clues about what really happened to Kate at the Vortex Club party. Are those pictures of herself? Man, best girl. These socks cost more than my wardrobe. Man, who just puts a sock in, on top of your clothes? Those boots are made for walking runways. What the fuck? Self-confidence is important! I think that our generation went too hard into being humble. You need to be vain a little bit. You need a little vanity in your life. 100% serious. You need you need to be a little vain. Seriously. But she really appreciates style. Narcissism is repulsive. I agree. That is also true. You, there, you. I'm not saying be completely vain, but you need to be a little vain. A unique point of view is right. Thanks to Courtney Wagner ghostwriting this paper. <laughs> I don't think so. Really. Victoria seems to know her shit. That's this is not a little vain. No, this this is narcissism for sure. First Rachel and now Kate. This is the Actually, end of the Vortex Club. Just like people including myself misusing fucking gaslighting, I shouldn't say this is narcissism. This could actually be like deep insecurities that she's trying to get over rather than narcissism. Although narcissism and being insecure can often go hand in hand. I'll title this one Portrait de la Assholes. Whoa, there's Kate. Totally high. She looks confused. Not like she's partying. <laughs> Point and laugh. Ha ha! <laughs> this photograph looks weird. I wonder if they got like some... Some stock art of like some people at a party and then like change the faces after putting a photo filter on it or something. That looks so weird, doesn't it? Victoria must have her own power if she found time to steal this from my room. Good job. Take it back. Take it back. Here they are getting loaded with Satan. 
Whoa. Get out your Sharpie and write on the back of the photo, we know. Oh man, what a chad. There has to be some dirt in here on Victoria. Well, well. Victoria and Taylor actually show remorse. From Victoria to Taylor. Hey, sweet tea, what up? I'm just avoiding some lame ass science homework. How can anybody do fucking homework after somebody almost jumps off a roof? I can't believe we all saw it live. It was like watching a reality show and I've never seen the campus so quiet. Like everybody's hiding or afraid. Yes, I feel like total shit for everything I said about Kate in that stupid video. Let's get some peeps to meet up later. This, th this girl needs a serious curfew cocktail. We'll drink to Kate. Really? Really? That's a lot of bank just to clean paint from a sweater. $30? What do you mean? What? No? Th paint. I would assume paint would actually be pretty hard to get out of a sweater without ruining it. $30. $30. That's, that's completely reasonable, I think. If Victoria's secret. She's a geek. Nah. Blueberry. My glow-in-the-dark blueberry. Is this what I think it is? We're gonna be friends now. We're gonna befriend the Makoto. <sighs> Nothing to see here. I guess I shouldn't be so bummed. All right, we're gonna find more. Not that Victoria couldn't hide her shit. Man, I'm getting paranoid. We're gonna find out more about Victoria now. Been saying it since the beginning she's not so bad. Just keep winning. Why are there no lights in the dorm? Is that normal? I've never been to a, like a school dorm before. Do they have no lights? So as it gets dark, you're no. Is that the light? And it's like lights out, and it's like fucking full on lights out. Like, there's no way. What if you need to pee or something? Yeah, there's a light. There's a light, but there's no light down here. But there were no lock on our door until this episode. Maybe next episode there'll be a light over here. Oh, hold on. Can we knock on someone's door? No, we can't. All right. It took us an hour and 12 minutes to get out of the first scene. Here we go. So Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. All right, where's Samuel? I love fireflies. Sam! 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 He sleeps in here, right? Oh, it's unlocked. I hope Samuel isn't around. Nuts and bolts. Like my grandpa's garage. Nothing here. Let's take the axe. Who knew Samuel was so into runway fashion? Uh-huh. That's why he has it. Yep. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. I know Samuel doesn't wear silky scarves. So, he does. Oh, they're setting up that someone comes here by themselves at night. And one of the girls comes here instead of it being Samuel's special spot. Alright. Hey, Lily. Hey. Did Mila have a nap? Uh, she did. She did? That's good. Is it really hot? Yes. Here, take it from the handle more. Okay, thanks. Yep, I got it. Thank you. No cookie? Do you want um, a vanilla cupcake? Ooh, I would like a vanilla something. cupcake, but not not on stream. I won't I won't I won't do that to chat. Because I can't share. <laughs> Thank you though. This looks like a photograph. Oh no. No, come back. I wanna I wanna take your photograph. the lens and say nut. Gotcha. <laughs> nut! Fan artist, quick! 
draw draw a, a sketch of a squirrel looking at the camera, doing a lewd face, saying, nah! "Quick, quick, quick!" People need you. The Chibanga does look pretty scary at night. Please don't destroy me. Please don't destroy me. Broken lamp. Maybe Samuel should fix that lamp. Maybe you should. Oh, time to sit and think. Damn. Can't believe it was just earlier that Kate almost jumped off that roof. I feel so giddy. Even after Kate almost jumped. Maybe it's the leftover adrenaline. But I feel kind of invincible right now. Magical insects burn bright. Principal ah. Wells. Whoa, whoa. Are you serious? I'm toast if he sees me. Nobody can expel me. Not yet, anyway. Okay, but you can teleport with the time travel. Okay, forward now? No, no, I'm good. He's lucky nobody else saw him like that. Wait, you live at the school? Dude, he's lit. Really? <laughs> ah, fuck it. I miss coffee. You have to be stealthier than that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. The principal's actually a bro. I misjudged him so hard. What a bro! <laughs> You're not supposed to be outside your dormitory at this hour. You know that. Uh, I'm sorry, Principal Wells. I'm still tense after I thought Kate was going to jump today. I just needed some air and space to walk. No, no explanations. Seeing Kate come up on that roof, then seeing her- Man, all I'm learning right now is the principal needs to be a little tipsy all the time, and, and then he's gonna be making much better decisions. Man, that's dark. Come down, you. You saved her ass. Maybe save Blackwell. Now don't get caught. Go on back inside. You earned good dreams. Good dreams. Great. So how do I get past him to meet Chloe? Guess it can't be helped. Hey. <laughs> she just went into a creeping pose. <laughs> what? Saw me. Maybe I could sneak by when he was trying to open the door. Don't stop wandering outside and get back to your dorm. Great, he saw me. Maybe I could sneak by when he was trying to open the door. And then erase his memory of this cool moment that we had? Is he gonna talk some more? Duh, 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 duh. He's lucky nobody else saw him like that. Except me. What if I'm like, like really far away from him? He can't see me over here, right? Max, <laughs> I told you to get back to your room. Now he's got me totally trapped. Eventually he's gonna pass out. Dude, dude, dude. Oh! Max, hello? Get that ass in gear now. Oh. Max, stop wandering outside and get back to your dorm. Oh man, we have to rewind a lot. Oh. 
Do, do. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, shit, wrong button. No, 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 no. Shit, no, stop. Oh, okay. Do, do. Max the ninja strikes again. Yep. Chloe is hot? I don't think so, actually. But you do you. Booyah! Get it? Booyah. Like I'm a scary punk ghost. No, I don't get More it. Like Can you explain it to me? Punk asshole. Yeah, hey, Chloe, Lamio got I him. I didn't exactly have the greatest day trying to keep my friend from jumping off the roof. Who is the waifu of this game? Rachel Amber. I don't think I need you to prank me tonight, okay? Sorry, but you absolutely balls to the walls did save your friend. Kate saved herself. I couldn't even use my power. My head felt like it was being crushed. And then I had no clue what to say to her on that roof. Don't be so modest, Rockstar. Kate is alive because of you. You obviously said the right thing. And your badass power is going to save us all. We just need to connect the players. And find out who almost killed Kate. Power to the players. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? Don't joke. I hope so. Chaos. I hope she just says chaos theory. Didn't you say that it was no. all about chaos theory? I don't see any control over this chaos. Oh, right. Except for your ability to, oh yeah, manipulate time and space. No biggie. Chloe, I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Especially after I just got your step boy suspended. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? About Kate. About Rachel. Yeah, who gives a shit about Kate? We need to find out more about who Rachel was involved with around here. She was able to blend in with everybody. Even with people I hated. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Don't Fuck eat the, the food. I just want to find nope, my friend not right your now. food. That's Yoshi's food. It scares food. me to think where she could be. You already had your food. Do you think she's- Nope. Alive? Kicking it? De ki kicking it? Kicking it? Kicking it. Kicking it in Los Angeles? That would be the best case scenario. She wouldn't leave without me, okay? And how often do missing girls turn up? I did. We have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, step prick. You are such a boss, Chloe. I just don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? Whoa, the lights turned off. We're in it to win it, Max. Whoa. The way. What I'm the so hell? Our school's Come alarmed. Insert groan here. Thank you again so much for helping me put together a portfolio. Hopefully the rest of the class will follow your lead. Sorry, I was distracted. As you know, Ooh. it's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day, and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. Thank you, Victoria. I'm glad it had a relatively happy ending. She's fucking I awkward. I know what I would have done if Katie jumped. Katie? I had no. Oh! Oh! Oh, man! Oh, she's really bad! Oh, shit. I gave you two were that close. Did she? Well, how does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? It doesn't. The contest is... I knew that you were going to sneak into my room after I snuck out at night after using your time travel powers to find out that I had uh, snuck out and then went back in time and rewound to fucking when you spoke to Taylor in the bathroom after after making her feel guilty. And I knew that after that you were going to go into my room and snoop around to see if there was anything bad I, that I said about Kate. So I knew that you would go to my laptop and see the email, so I wrote this fake email to my friend about how I was feeling really, really bad about it and I was going to sneak out. 
But I also knew that you would come over here and see me talking to Jefferson. Still a go, and I still have to pick the winner to best represent Blackwell. I've got all the photos, except one from Max. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know it's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria, please. And, uh... I haven't picked a winner yet. He's got to know favorites. what she's so doing, it's not right? Like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo though. Just imagine. We would have to spend a lot of time together. That could be fun, don't you think? No. I'm going to think that you didn't say any of that. Yeah. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favorites or something. Whoa! Favor Holy shit. Okay. So this is just this is just a sport fuck for her? I thought she actually liked him. Or is this just like she likes him so much she's willing to blackmail him for it? What's going on here? She's nuts. Future I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe. Are you fucking kidding me? Trying to give him all the reasons, you know? Like, I don't know. Hi, whore. So stupid. Just when I think Victoria can't get any more evil. Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. She's Let's projecting her own success on others. She only wants him to be... She only wants him to be faint. What? I understand what you just said, sorry. Maybe you maybe you meant her instead of him. Chloe the keymaster. You know it. <laughs> Rewind so she can do better. <laughs> Rewind. Say something else this time! What? Who is that? I didn't hear anything, Victoria. What are you talking about? Uh <laughs> Dude, I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. Not to mention the weed you brought into my room. Joking. I'm serious. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? I can't charge us for just entering. They absolutely can. serious. We could go to jail. Not when Blackwell's ex-head of security is at home crying in his basement bunker. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. But my powers didn't save Kate. <gasps> Maybe I did on my own. Come on, one more door and our work here is done. Samsung? No, Samuel just been talking so far, but I'm pretty sure he has a wonderful singing voice. There's no way David would get in Mrs. Grant's face. She'd shut his ass down fast. Instead of security blackwell, it's my job and duty to make sure all bases have been covered when it comes to protecting the student body. I know I'm nobody's favorite among the faculty and students, but I know I'm making sure their safety is my prime directive. Since so thinking over his head security, my statistics speak for themselves, as, it, as does the 15.4% drop in campus crime. I respect your position as a science teacher, but you have unfairly demonized my plans for a surveillance system with a cowardly petition. I hope that you'll re redact this petition and reconsider the human cost of not retrofitting Blackwell Academy with the latest, safe, latest and safe and private security. Like, honest to God, though, is he wrong? Like, he's wrong about some stuff, but on this one specifically, I don't think he's wrong. I don't think he need- I don't think you need fucking security cameras in the bathrooms. Like, like, there's- there's a compromise to be made here, and we don't know what he's proposing. If he's proposing security cameras in, like, like, the changing rooms and the bathrooms, then of course, yeah, you can't do that. But, like, I- I feel like having security cameras around the campus is not a bad idea. At all.
a shooting was in the toilet. Uh, honest, okay, maybe I'm just I'm just too too bleeding heart when it comes to privacy and shit. I don't I don't give a sh even if someone did get shoot shot in the bathroom, I still wouldn't be on board with putting a security camera in the bathroom. I'm sorry, like like no, people need their privacy in the fucking bathroom. I don't care if it kept happening like repeatedly. Then okay, now like you know w enough enough bodies have to pile up. <laughs> Until I'm like, all right, clearly some bad shit is going down in that bathroom. But but one, I'd be like, mm, no, that's not that's not worth it to to have like a fucking like like invade everyone's privacy of the school now to have a fucking camera in there, you know? Like like maybe if you could have like a strategically placed camera that can't you can't see inside the stalls or anything like that. But even then, I would be like, ah, eh, that's that's really hard. forward at the front door that yeah looking at the bathroom would be enough right because the camera in the bathroom isn't going to stop anyone from getting shot but it will show you who's going in and out of there i don't think he's wrong to put security cameras around the school i'm surprised there aren't there they aren't there already bathrooms oh they have their own bathroom only a total phony would wear a crappy hat like that The hell is this? That's it. What the fuck? The security officer should have the key to the principal's office. He's hiding shit, like everybody here. Well, now we definitely have to get this door open. Mm, no. Believe it or not, I know a little about lock picking. Thanks to Frank. I might as well test out my thief skill. I'm the lockpicking oh, blue-haired goth. Already in this deep. Well, you could look for the key. Force binding. Just in case. Why, yes, I could. Dead end. Not even goth. She's a little goth. More of a punk, yeah. You're right. Nothing here. Boring. Crap. Goth will always be not got. Yeah, that's. Uh, yeah, it's changed a lot since I was a, a teenager. Desolation. I had a little bit of a punky no key face. For thee. We have to find another way in. Wait, hold on. I'll just rewind. Enough time with Frank. I'll just rewind. But I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. My plan has a name. Is it Warren? Hey Warren, do you know anything about lockpicking? Hey Warren, Only everything there is to know. Just bubble hearth, you'll be okay. <sighs> I'm upset. Oh, I'm upset. I'm upset. Listen, I need your physics expertise stat. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that in the hit game World of Warcraft, there was a character there was a, a character class you could play known as the Paladin. Now, in the vanilla version of of World of Warcraft, and I think in Burning Crusade and uh, the f f fucking Wrath of Lich King, um, only Alliance could play as Paladins. Paladins had the ability called. Uh, uh, I can't remember what it's called now, but it was uh, colloquially it was known as bubbling and basically it was an ability that you could put on and you were immune from all sources of damage physical or magical when a paladin was able to use this ability they had about 10 seconds of like they just could not be damaged no matter what could not be removed nothing okay during this ability they could use their hearthstone so it was very annoying as a horde player not that I would know because I was an alliance scumbag for it to be PvPing in the world or as the kid, cool kids call it pivipping in the world against a paladin and when you would finally get them low which was hard because they had plate armor and a bunch of heals and shit when they would when you would finally get them low down to like five or ten percent they would throw their bubble up and then use their hearthstone to teleport back to safety robbing you of the kill that you worked so hard to earn aka known as bubble hearthing would say open a locked door would you maybe kind of know how? 
Huh? No. I'm just asking for fun. Thanks, what? Man. And she just said it in the game. She just said bubble hearth. Like. Okay. Uh, no, no, no. Stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. Yes, I'm still all in to go ape with you at the drive-in. Thanks for the Ooh. help. Ooh. Oh, needed something? You know, Merrick, I think you're right. This sucks. See how sultry she sounded then and being like very like, yeah, of course I'm interested. Just send just send how how to lockpick. Is she is he gonna send one of uh is he gonna use time travel to send one of the lockpicking lawyers videos? Yes. Goddamn door. Try not to wake Stupid up door. Blackwell. Sorry, Max. I got nothing. What about your plan? Here. What? I'm gonna go put it together. Can you stay here and not get caught? I might get on the other side of that door before If we make a fucking mold of the key and then take it to the fucking science lab 3d printer to print a key to open the door i am gonna be unbelievably fucked off you lupin the race is on see you soon okay i'm rewinding to look for the key please oh i can't okay cool that would work though would it for a modern door would it really Now pay attention, 007. You have to find four objects. Sugar, a soda can, duct tape, sodium chlorate. Here's how you do Are we going to blow up? Oh, we're going to blow open the door. Okay. And then someone's going to know we did this? Any questions? Sodium chlor what? Just a powder to use to create chlorine dioxide. Shit, everybody knows that. So you're really going to do this? Keyword is try. I bow to your wisdom. A at this point, just kick the door down. Wait, the key rack. Where are the keys? None for the principal's office. Maybe it's unmarked. Let's try them all. Wait, I know where to get sugar. The Why sugar machine. Let's see if I can find. Release the crack can. <sighs> it's all mine anyway. Only three more items to go. First Rachel and now Kate. This is the end of the Vortex Club. Yeah, they deserve it too. Fuck you, Vortex Club. Where the hell are you, Rachel Amber? It's the end of the world as A long we know time it. ago, in a girl's room right here. Two days ago. No trophy will help Blackwell's reputation now. What do you mean? You saved everybody. This is the kind of joke you would make ironically. Yeah, ironically is the key word there. Yeah, of course. She's making it unironically. Enjoying puns is, is difficult, okay? It's very complicated. I, I enjoy providing puns. I will also enjoy a good pun myself. I will have quite the sensible chuckle. But it all depends on the context of the pun. And I feel like Max hasn't earned it. I hate that formalin smell. Ass biology. Oh, don't. <laughs> Table. Wish I knew what periodic means. Me too, Umfi, me too. Only a B minus? Warren has shattered my faith. Of course, I'm barely passing science. Wait, what? That doesn't make sense at all, actually. That's kind of a plot hole. <gasps> oh, man. 
Good thing that you left out a whole fucking box of sugar. Change. You deserve way more than this for taking on Nathan, but every little grade counts. Yes, I like this plus better than that minus. Thanks for being there for me, Warren. Do 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 Ooh, sugar. Do 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 Hey, did you just change my grade? Did you blow up? Max? Still here, didn't blow up, not yet. I need to concentrate now. Tittle. I never said they were great, troll. I had sex with your mom. Oh man. Max takes shitty selfie. Who would care enough to write this? Who has nothing else going on? I remember even as a teenager, like, this may surprise a lot of you, but as a teenager in high school, I was not actually a total loser. Um, my high school years were actually pretty, pretty non-eventful. It was, it was, it was fine. Like pretty, pretty mid-range, normal fucking high school, uh, high school experience. Um, you know, I wasn't super popular, but I was fairly popular enough, you know? As, as a surprise to even myself, like, I usually had a girlfriend, you know what I mean? It was, like, it was kind of weird. Um, I don't remember ever getting giving a shit enough about, like, school like this. Like, there was other things to do. Sure, hey! Hey! If I was in your position, I wouldn't believe me either, okay? Because <laughs> I still don't understand it, alright? I've always had some weird charisma, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> You're an artist, damn it, not a scientist. But this is so not sodium chloride. Okay, we can find it though. Cigarette. Ew, gross. At least switch to e cigs. Joe married his high school sweet sweetheart. He must have a game. That's true. I did marry my high school sweetheart. Sweetheart. Me and Lily met in high school. Here's the sodium chlorate box. Okay, let's get it. Oh, it's gonna drop. Quick, put some you know cardboard you're down. Clumsy, Max. Don't waste your rewind power. Use the damn chair. She's learning. All right. Oh no, this chair has a hole cut out of it. I probably one more ingredient Whoa. left. What's the ingredient? Why is he at the bottom? Oh, where he belongs. Yeah. Bottom for sure. Uh, duct tape. All right, where are we getting duct tape from? The janitor closet? Hey, aquarium. Everybody's asleep. I hate to wake them up, but I want a picture. Whoa. Good evening, fish fish. I like fish tanks. I would like a, a, a big fish tank, but I don't like, I don't like taking care of fish tanks. Thanks, so I'd have fish. to be like- Nice work. Uber rich to justify having someone to come every week to take care of the fish tank for me. Because I, I want to have one, but I don't want to look after it. <laughs> and that's just me being fucking honest. I'm sorry. Like, I just don't. Uh. Hey, duct tape. Oh. <gasps> Kate's locker. Let's look inside. So glad you still have your locker, Kate. What? That was a line of dialogue. That's ours. We're not going in it? Okay. I think the problem with Max's puns are the pacing of them. She's not punctual enough with her delivery. Alright, let's change our grade now. 
You have four kids? I do have four kids. This is like a scene and I thought we used some tape and- Fucking stop talking over yourself! Jefferson's class last week. If I rewind, will she say it again? No, because she, she's not moving back out. Okay. I feel gross even looking at Nathan's work. But he does have some style. Like, this might be the best one I've seen in the game so far, actually. This is good. That's a good photograph. Oh, Kate. Even when you were sad, you tried to see the good in the world. Shit. Nathan Prescott in the chat says, Thanks, Joe. You're welcome, Daniel's bro. Daniel's a better illustrator than photographer. <laughs> Said Max, the art critic. Victoria. That is pretty fucking sweet. How can I hate somebody that shoots like that? Yeah, she has some talent. W who is this? Victoria's cigarettes? <laughs> I'm sure Mr. Jefferson is impressed. I don't understand how anyone younger than my generation starts smoking. I guess it's just kids rebel in weird ways and they and then they get addicted even in my generation like i'm kind of like eh, how did you not see the issue with this but i kind of get it it was still somewhat normalized when i was growing up like my parents smoked in the house all the time they smoked in the car with the windows down like like i like i'm old enough that there was a time where you could still smoke in restaurants and there was like these in canada there was like these walled off sections of of uh cafes and shit that you like 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 with glass walls that with glass doors you had to open to get into the smoking section like they were all cornered off and sealed and it wasn't sealed very well so you could still smell the smoke and there were se smoking and non-smoking sections in uh in restaurants and shit so i can kind of get it but I, like after that since then i just don't i don't get it how do you start smoking the tape is mine Now it's time to show Chloe that Max is the bomb. Did we need two sets of duct tape? I thought we were gonna find something in here about Jefferson, but no, this is just uh That was time. amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. We looked at the contest pictures. I think Nathan should go. Nathan had the best picture. People get curious, try to see what it's like, then get addicted. But isn't the first couple times that you try cigarettes, you just like, it's awful and you just like cough and wonder why the fuck anyone likes this? So I feel like it, there has to be like peer pressure that adds to it afterwards, right? So if it's all coming from peer pressure, I guess that's, that's, that explains it, you know? It's like, there's always some people in the older generation that are smoking, and they're not that much older than some of the younger generation, and they put pressure on them, they start smoking, and then, yeah, so... Basically, the current generation of smokers needs to become aware enough and be like, hey, you don't want this. But most smokers I talk to, as I haven't spoken, spoken to a smoker in a while, actually, in, in person, but, like, everyone in my family that was a smoker growing up was like, like, this sucks, you don't want any part of this. You know, like, most smokers, I can't, I can't remember any smoker I've ever spoken to in my entire life that was like, this shit's cool as fuck, you want one. You know, like, you want in on this, but maybe they exist. Pipe bomb. All right, here we go. Take it easy on the door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. Boom! Literally. Yes! Time to blow shit up! If you'll light the candle. This is so cool! I do understand, I am sympathetic of how easy it can be to get addicted to something though, yeah. Especially with the peer pressure. It, it must suck to be kind of like, locked into this dependency. I'm sorry if you're going through that. Get ready to haul ass. Oh, the duct tape was just to hold it to the door. What if it fell, falls now and rolls over to us? All right. That was so fucking cool. Oh, we are toast. Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department. 
Uh, so what should we do? Snoop first. Snoop, we have time. We have time. We have so much time. Snoop, snoop, snoop. I can rewind, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. We have lots and lots and lots of time. Do, do, do. Wait, we can rewind before the bomb goes off? Wait, I'm in I'm in the room now and the bomb didn't go off. Wait. Would that work? Hold on. So the teleporting is Canonical? It's not a gameplay contrivance. So if if I'm in a in a in a, in a scene and I'm like just using my powers willy nilly to walk around, they're seeing me going whoop 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 whoop, and no one's commenting on it. If I can get this bastard open, she can't cheat with a rewind. Oh, this is bullshit! Fuck you, door. Okay, I think that just broke the game. I think they went too far with this. I, I I really think that just broke the game. That just broke the whole... Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know, man. I, I want to see where it goes. I feel like that just completely just it completely shattered the whole entire game and story. Like... Wow, okay. What ha... Okay, if, if Max... If Max cut herself... And she rewound... Would the cut go away? Literally what she did with Kate. No, she she specifically froze time with Kate. And that seemed to be different than the tele teleporting she does now. Her body is unaffected. So it's just by sheer luck or gameplay contrivance that whenever she's about to die, it, it flashes gray and we get to rewind before it happens then. Or is that like, is is Max invincible canonically as well? Like whenever Max is in danger, is it just going to like instinctually trigger? Hmm. Welcome to my domain. You are magic. I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. The company I keep. Now, let's find what we want and beat it. Then smash the window from outside, climb in, rewind, window not broken. Why pipe bomb? Whatever, the, 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 whole, the whole game's broken now, I think. The powers only go so far. Man, I can see where the- What if she cuts herself? So let's build a bomb? Principal locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. He must want everybody to know he has money, but no taste. Do, How can you do, trust somebody do, who has do, a fucking bronze bird in his office? How are we locking the door when we leave? Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be at Blackwell. Eat me. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly ass desk. It locks itself when you close it. Does it? It look like it's one of those like like bolt locks when she turned it. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair? I don't think it's ugly. I think that chair's baller. Hella baller. This is your chance to baller with an A. Hella baller. Find us some clues about Rachel or Kate or Nathan. Anybody. I'm on the case. Chase is on the case. Let's go see what kind of lock is it. Yeah, it's a bolt lock for sure. Those those don't lock automatically when you close the door. So did you build a lock, Unabomber? Oh, please. I just wanted to see if you knew your explosives and to see your incredible artwork. Okay. Wait, did, did we still change the test score? Yeah, we turned on the lamp. This pretty much sums up Kate. Shy and sweet. And in the wrong place. My Kate is not shy and sweet. My Kate is a monster. I st okay, I don't know if I should say that on stream. Some people might not find it funny as me. Okay. And now I have to say it. Okay. So, 
to make Lily laugh, I, I say I say some like um, outlandish shit about the kids to, to Lily sometimes to like to cheer up because she has to handle them so they all day. So Kate is like by far the biggest monster of the four kids, although Mila's getting up there too. So the I started I nicknamed her Al Qaeda <laughs> she's the house terrorist. <laughs> I am not all Kayla. <laughs> She'll say. <laughs> the, other, the other thing that happened. This will not be as funny because because uh because I have to tell you the setup before the punchline. Otherwise, it's not going to make sense. So like we were sitting at the, sitting at the table and and they and the kids were discussing who is the worst in the house, as they do. Um, and, uh, and who is the best in the house? And Leo is, is the best in the house. He's, he's the, the, uh, the best behaved. He's the sweetest out of all the four kids. Um, so he's, he's the best according to the kids. And, um, uh, Finn is, uh, Mila is house princess. So, so Finn is like, you know, like Mila can do no wrong. Right. Uh, which she, he used to think that way about, about Kate when she was a baby um but as she's gotten into the threes uh she causes a lot of trouble so um according to finn mila and leo are the bestest in the house and kate is the worstest in the house and then he said actually kate worsts in the whole in the whole world and i said to him no you know <laughs> and in and in my brain i just went if anyone is the worst in the whole world right now, it, it would be Vladimir Putin. <laughs> and he said to me, who Vladimir Putin? <laughs> so, <laughs> so I had to explain to my seven-year-old who Vladimir Putin is, all right? And it was just weeks later, okay? Weeks later. We're sitting at the table, and Finn just says, you know, Leo, he goes to the, 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 the list. He says, Kate is second worst in the world. And, and I'd forgotten why I said to him. So I said, what do you mean she's second worst in the world? And he said, well, she can't be first worst in the world. That's Vladimir Putin. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's it. Uh, Mila's Mila's nickname is is Evila because she's she is getting evil now. So instead of Mila, she's Evila. Um, uh, Kate is Alkaida, and uh, Leo is of course dumped by Finn when they were having a fight. Finn called him Po. <laughs> <laughs> Called him Pio, <laughs> and and as so Leo could get him back, I I I gave Finn the name Puin, so it's Puin and Pio and Al Qaeda and Evila. That's 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 their 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 bad nicknames now. But we don't we don't we don't say like Leo actually gets legit upset about Pio, so we don't say that. Um, but that, that I wanted to be even with with all of them. Oh man. <sighs> Sometimes I call him Finny the Pooh. <laughs> Pio is so good. Pio is amazing. Pio is amazing. <laughs> it's such an amazing own. I was so proud when he said it. Anyway, student information sheet, Kate Beverly Marsh, GPA 3.9, oh, it's not a 4. Kate Marsh represents the very best of students at Blackwell Academy. Her GPA is consistently outstanding, along with her optimistic attitude and quiet work ethic. Her extracurricular activities within the Meals on Wheels program has been acknowledged on K-Bay 7 News, and her diverse religious studies group has been a welcome addition to the wide range of student-led spiritual 
uh, programs at Blackwell. She also has one of the best attendance records in the school's history. Principal Wells, as the school nurse, I should inform you that... Oh, it's a, it's a note. Okay. And Kate Marsh appears to have experienced some recent emotional or physical trauma. I spoke to her briefly and she was upset but vague and refused to talk further with me. I think it's important that we keep our eyes on her and make sure she's not under duress from other classmates, as is as is my suspicion. Regar regards, Anne-Marie... Okay, I can't. Where, where's she? I haven't seen her. Update. At present time, there, there is a security investigation into a controversial video allegedly f featuring Kate Marsh at the v Vortex Club party that has been uploaded onto the internet without her knowledge or alleged consent, along with her claim of being taken to the hospital during her, her, the, the party. See the attached files for complete details. Would they make a note of that? I guess if the, the that's from the nurse that has to look after the well-being? Yeah, I guess so. I guess they would. Yeah. I guess they would. Okay, it's about it's about two hours. Let's take a break. I need to pee. Only oh, we took it. Files to go. Okay. Here, chatter. You get to look at Chloe while uh, while I'm gone. Look everywhere, Max. There has to be some info in the student files.
Even the trash bin is empty? All right, sorry. I went to the bathroom and came straight back. There and back. The game auto pauses itself after There's five minutes. There's got to be a super secret file. Did your opinion of Warren change now that we know he's a paladin? Man, oh, is it is it the context was that he was playing World of Warcraft and he was in a fight? And she said, Bubble Hearth, so you can talk to me. I thought it was, you know, Bubble Hearth IRL and come over here and help me. That's why I, that's why I thought it was. Oh, okay. So, yeah, makes sense. He plays a paladin. I also played a paladin for a little while. My WoW career was I started out as a hunter, a night elf hunter in vanilla. And then toward the end of vanilla, I switched over to a protection warrior. I played protection warrior for, uh, burning crusade. I played a little bit of hunter as well back in, in burning crusade as well. I, sw I flipped between the two of them a little bit in wrath of Lich King. I played protection warrior almost exclusively. Or sorry, I played tank almost exclusively. I was protection warrior until I think the beginning of ICC, and then I switched over to protection paladin because protection warrior sucked. Because throughout Wrath the Lich King, um, Blizzard protection warrior was the only tank really that was viable in almost every case for for the first two expansions, and then Wrath the Lich, Lich King, they um, they made guardian bear, guardian druid. Blood Paladin, and uh, no, not Blood Paladin. Was it was it Frost or Blood Death Knight? Was the tank? I think it was Blood, wasn't it? 
and Protection Paladin, they made them equally viable tanks, but not enough people were switching over to the new tank roles, so they made Warriors just ever so slightly shittier, shittier shit and that just kept getting worse and worse throughout the whole entire expansion until the point where it just, it just didn't make any sense to continue playing as a Protection Warrior. Like, you could do it, but it just wasn't worth it. So I switched over to Protection Paladin to help my guild. And then after that, I would switch over to DPS as a mage for the expansions after that. Death Knights were insane tanks in Wrath of the Lich King. You're basically warring, but just 20 years older. Well, you didn't have to say it. Warriors were still the best boss tank, but his AoE was ship? Mm, I don't think so. I think that for survivability, Death Knight still had it. For for one on one tanking. Paladins were the best damage, if I remember correctly. Paladins just had insane damage. What are you eating? I'm not eating anything. Uh oh. Someone's upset. Dumb question, but have you tried Dragonflight? I have not tried Dragonflight. I didn't try the last WoW expansion either. Dragonflight is actually good. Dow? Looks like an oil painting spill. Awful. Look at this pile. Look at this pile. Ass biology. You're not so tacky up close. What do you mean? That's a that's a baller statue. That is so cool that my signature actually counted. Go, Miss Grant. Dear Miss Grant, a principal, as principal of Blackwell Academy, it is my glad, happy, fortunate duty to inform you that your petition to block the installation of a new surveillance system has received enough signatures to the school to reject the plan. It is not my policy to take sides in these matters, as we encourage the faculty and student body to participate in, this, in the school's operation. However, I do recognize the controversial nature of these cameras and shared your concern for possible invasions of privacy. Thank you for your passion and for inspiring Blackwell students to make their voices heard. I hope they will feel empowered by the outcome of your petition. Wow, that's just the most unrealistic thing yet, and this has uh, time travel. Tumbleweeds. Weird. This asshole has a spotless record. Hmm. Nathan Prescott continues his family's historical legacy at Blackwell Academy with a stellar academic record and a variety of extracurricular activities, including work with the Arcadia Bay Homeless Fund. Nathan is also popular with students and, and faculty. He stands as a proud representation of Blackwell. Okay, so either his record keeps getting expunged, or his behavior, you know, is recent. It's a change. Or... He's actually evil, Nathan, from the time quake that has occurred in this area. And he's from the, the dimension where Nathan Prescott was a bad Nathan Prescott. Let's nab this last file, Sherlock. Okay. Always wanted to... This should be hanging in a thrift store. Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. But there's not much here about the police investigation. Student information sheet, Rachel Dawn Amber. That's a name. Update. Unfortunately, Rachel Amber has stopped attending class for the past month, and she's left no contact with students or faculty for the past month. Past month, past month. Her parents are at the present are at the present unaware of her whereabouts and Blackwell hopes for her quick return to continue her academic excellence. Brief summary. Rachel Amber is the quintessential student representation of Blackwell Academy. She excels in all of her studies and extracurricular activities, which are numerous. She's also super hot. Popular with both students and faculty because she's so hot, she has the de facto qualities of scholarship and leadership that is a hallmark of Blackwell's legacy. Her diverse goals include a career in international law, and fashion modeling, because she's hot. There's no doubt that Rachel will achieve all of her dreams with Blackwell as the as the fulcrum, because she's Principal Wells. This is Lieutenant Chris Rossi. 
Just wanted to let you know that Rachel Amber's investigation is officially being closed on our end. We always hope for that one magic clue, but once again, Arcadia Bay covers up another secret. We always keep our eyes and ears open, but that's all we can do from now. Thanks for all your help. Hmm. Okay. I think we found everything in here. I should go join Chloe now. I guess being a bully is in the Prescott DNA. It kind of, it's come to my attention that the Prescott family crest has been removed from the library wall for no apparent reason. The local historical crest is required as per the donation terms to the to library, or the donation will be rescinded, among others, for the school. Along with that, I understand that the tragic event involving Miss Marsh gives you pause, but I would suggest that cancelling Thursday's party is not conducive to the can-do spirit of Blackwell Academy. I expect you to reconsider and come to the same obvious conclusion. Thank you, Sean Prescott. Okay, not, not the asshole. Not the asshole. He's just giving his opinion, and you know what? His donation, his rules. Clearly in the terms, the crest had to be visible, and the crest is not currently visible. Fix it. I hate these things. I'd drink too if I was the principal of Blackwell. <laughs> Max... You better come check out these files. Uh -oh. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. It was your drugs, though, if right? David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott. That's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott the third. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescotts dropped major bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet: bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled. Prescott's always get their money's worth. Check out that note. Open it. Dude, open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. That's fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel. Oh, Rachel's being keeping in is being kept in the dark room where they develop their photographs, and Max is the only one that doesn't know because she's a hipster Polaroid user and she doesn't have to do that. Oh yeah, everyone knows where Rachel. Oh, that's where she is. Oh man, needs needs to just break her camera and then she's gonna find out. Whoa, listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. <sighs> it's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. Really? It's really David? Really? I'm so disappointed. Jesus. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our info. Let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. I'm Max, do your powers bar. include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. It's the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha-ching! Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's $5,000 here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This'll chill him out after our knife showdown yesterday. Yeah, yeah but... Are you gonna make a big issue out of this? Yeah. Or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself? I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. Leave the money, steal the money. All right. Is the money actually going to go to the fund? Is is there even a fund? I don't remember there being a fundraiser. There would be posters up everywhere. I don't remember it anywhere. If it's real, then obviously you don't take it. But is it real?
Like if there, if this, if it was recent enough for the money to still be in his drawer, there would still be like information about it all over the school, and I don't really remember ever seeing that anywhere. I'm taking it. Frank knows things about Rachel, and he might talk if he's been paid, right? You are Supermax. And with the leftover dough, I'll take you on a road trip to Portland for the day. We'll stock up on tats, beer, weed, and donuts, and books from Powell's, and strip clubs. Kidding. But you never know. I feel like shit for taking that money. Do, 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 do. We go outside, there's gonna be posters everywhere about the handicap fund now. We regret to inform you that Nathan Prescott has disrupted various classes over the past month despite repeated warnings and leniency. Due to a crude outburst in Mrs. Hoyda's intro to literature class on Tuesday, September 17th, Nathan was sent back to his dormitory for the day without a proper write-up for his files. Nathan has enormous potential but also erratic behavior patterns that may need supervision beyond Blackwell's ability. The school cannot tolerate these, these, these disruptions, so we hope you will discuss this matter with Nathan to impress upon him the severity of the situation. Please see the attached files for the full reports. Update. Expunged record. Dear Principal Wells, received a rather outrageous and possibly slanderous letter from somebody in an administration accusing Nathan of uncharacteristic erratic behavior patterns. We're, we're certain this must be a mistake, otherwise we fear we will take Nathan out of Blackwell to a more prestigious and better funded institution. Please respond with a copy of the expunged dis disciplinary warning report. The updated discipline warning report. Didn't say that right. Disciplinary warning report. Um, yeah, this doesn't ring true to me at all, but I'm, you know, not really a part of this world. I don't think this would happen. Nope. I really don't think, like, I feel like this is something that people think happen, and it doesn't. But maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. The following is a list of reported institutes involving Nathan Prescott. There seems to be a pattern of outbursts and confrontations followed by remorse and repentance. We suggest his parents remove him from the school and place him under expert psychological supervision, throwing a desk in class, cursing at his English teacher, lighting firecrackers in the bathroom, stealing school supplies, threatening the school custodian, attempted theft of campus Tob Tobanga statue. Oh, we should have reported the gun for sure. Huh. David Madsen and Nathan Prescott have both come to my office to warn me that Rachel Amber has been a drug mule in Mr. Madsen's talk radio terminology. <laughs> Acting as a front for another local dealer. Considering Rachel's exemplary, stat exemplary status, I told David that I would need more con concrete proof and he promised he had more to show. I was surprised to get an unscheduled visit from Rachel Amber. She seemed quite upset and claimed that David Madsen was following her and taking photographs. David would deny this, and given the, uh, the questionable company Rachel has, has been keeping, I'm not certain I can believe her right now. Okay. Why would he give so much of a shit about that? Meanwhile, he found out about us having drugs, and he doesn't give a shit about that, and he's not really doing it to Chloe either. I feel like something else is going on here. And Nathan Prescott did this. Rachel in the dark room. Okay. So Nathan Prescott is taking girls to somebody. I fucking hope that it's not David Madsen. Lock the that door. That look scares me. Care for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool is out swimming. You want to take that risk now? It's been a cray week. We deserve a little mindless fun in the water. We're done for the night anyway. We're rich and nobody busted us. So, splish splash? You're right. We hella deserve it. Splish splash. Did you actually just say hella? I think I'm a good bad influence on you. I hope they skip the part where they're in their swimsuits. Can't believe it to be like the 1% that took the money. We're in the otter's lair. 
Big fucking deal. I want that heated water. We still have to play it cool, okay? I still go to school here. You can own this hellhole once you figure out your rewind power. Chloe is so psyched for girls' night out, so I better follow her evil plan. How is this still going? Go otters. Go otters. Any thoughts on catching the right? I read it. Oh, 37. I read it when I was in my early 20s. About 16 years ago, 17 years ago. Was I 19? I, mean, I was 19 when I read it. Um, so I don't really remember it all that well. Like it, it was, it was good. It was, it was decent. It was fine. I would love a soda, but I just get wired. It's a myth. It doesn't happen. Good book. Possibly overrated, but you know, what isn't these days? I actually don't have the time to investigate this caper. I admit I'm a goofball and misplaced my flexi wav swim goggles. I found eternal gratitude and a 25 bean hip cafe gift card. Contact Ray Siren. Who the fuck is Ray Siren? I hope the otters will survive. Wait. The handicap fund. If only I could solve the mystery of the missing cat picks. Desperate for my stolen backpack with school books and Oh, this is the this is the the cat person who they don't have an email address for their cats. Okay, I thought we were going through the door. Or oh, we have to talk to Chloe. Hey Chloe. Boys or girls? What? Boys? Boys, of course. Figures. Perv. Let me check to see if the pool's heated. Oh no, Chloe's gone. Chloe? Matt? No way am I touching Zach's jersey. Betty developed that in Jefferson's class. But why? Because he loves you. Max and Warren, M and W. W is just M upside down. You're meant to be. He, he knows that. Zach is really careless. Doesn't he know what happens when I'm around? What? Hey, thinking bad things about you. Cool. What are you wearing? <laughs> All right, let's text that to Lily. Hey, thinking bad things about, about you. All right, all right, done. Just my crystal necklace and phone. Hot. What are you wearing, bro? I'm in the locker room, only wearing a jersey, sitting on my football. <laughs> what? What the fuck? What? Wait, that was to Victoria? Really <laughs> Doesn't you know what happens when I'm around? Oh, it's at the top. This must be for training kids. What, what? It's okay for Nathan to be hooked on these drugs, right? Uh, they look prescribed, possibly by a, a, a therapist. I feel like Nathan is being used. I'll be, I'm gonna be so upset if everything is just being played so straight and obvious. It doesn't have to be like mind-bendingly fucked up because that's usually when video game stories get into trouble, but it has to be, there has to be a little bit of a twist. I guess somebody forgot their Blackwell spirit. I guess I should consider this evolution. Dana, I know I'm an a-hole, but I'm your a-hole. Love, Logan. No worries, it's all Sometimes. bad. Sex me up. Boys locker room is right. Hmm. Dana needs a baby daddy. 
I went to two different high schools and neither of them had this, like, honestly, I don't think any of them had graffiti. Is this an American thing? Victoria loves the D. Huh, it's nice to know Victoria loves something besides herself. <laughs> Max just believes it. Yep. Who doesn't love the D? Max Caulfield, moral avenger. Or self-righteous hypocrite. This one is almost empty. The guys must like their pink goo. 69 reasons to bang Rachel. Oh, that's the new Netflix series? Bros will be bros. Damn. 69, bro. Alright, I want to go through the girls' locker room now. Wait! We're... Oh, I could just go through them anyway. Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> you wish, Max. You just... Ooh, pink goo. I see why everybody brings their own soap. This isn't a desperate cry for attention or anything. You know what I'm going to do today? I'm going to go to the girls' locker room, and I'm going to write Victoria Chase rules on the wall, because I'm Victoria Chase and I rule. That's what I'm going to do. Here I go. Dear Kate, I don't care, God. Well, we care, dickhead. Rachel abides. I hope so, friend. Like the dude? The dude abides? Girls can swim too. If I could rewind back to the 1940s, I'd get in serious trouble. Good style from that era though, right? You gotta hand it to like the, like the, that kind of 40s, 50s era. I really like the style from that era. Where does that other sock go? Looks like Brooke wants to go to the drive-in with Warren. Oh man, no wonder Brooke hates us. Those are some musty ass old shirts. Yuck. I don't know why, but I kind of like exploring in this game and I, I didn't really like it in any of the David Cage games, but in this game, I like looking around and snooping at everything. And I can't tell if that's because the, there's more characters and it feels more real and we're in the same place and it's like an, it's building on um, all these different relationships instead of it being like set to different perspectives and different characters or whatever. Like in, in, um, in the Cage games, you're very rarely in the same place again, you know, like, or give freedom to walk around. Like it doesn't matter. There's no, there's not much interplay between all the different characters. Or I don't know if it's because I'm just hungry for whatever the next cringy as fuck thing that, that Max is going to say. Those look like the most cozy, comfy towels in towel history. Want. There's an example, you know, like... Flippers in a swimming pool? Are they training Navy frogmen here? One time in uh, in my British high school, uh, they did uh, they had they had a pool, which always surprised me that they had a pool. Um, I already knew how to swim. Uh, I haven't been swimming in years. I love swimming. Uh, I already knew how to swim. And uh, almost everyone in the class also knew how to swim at that point. I think some of them learned f through through this class. Uh, and after like a year or so of this, like occasionally swimming, we didn't go swimming all that much. Um, they did like a, here's what it's like to swim with clothes on. And they got like uh, sports jerseys from, from the school. I don't know why they had all of these. And they had to swim like a length with the sports jersey on. Like, and oh my God. God, that is so fucking hard. That like you wouldn't think that it would be like obviously it's, okay, it's gonna be harder, but like no, it is so much harder with clothes on. Like you think you can swim, and then you try with like 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 wet clothes weighing you down. It's like like you're so tired so fast. Was Chloe here? 
A bus ticket? Was she going to run away? Like Rachel Amber? Let's hope so. What clothes were? Yeah, even when you got out of the water, it was like you just you just feel it weighing you down. You're like, holy shit. It was really interesting. Possibly one of the best things that we ever did in school. And you wouldn't think that. It's just like, oh yeah, here, jump in the pool and, and swim with a with a with a jersey on. And yet that's one of my most vivid uh school memories. Cause it was very like practical, like it was an experience the school provided me, you know? The wit, it burns. Oh what, but this is the girls' room. Are they recommending the otters? So, Victoria's secret is selfies. <gasps> Go fuck your... No. Jefferson said, don't confuse art with the artist. And we have to trust These Jefferson. These are cool shots. Are they? You secretly like Victoria. Anyone else think she secretly likes Victoria? I think Victoria and Max could be friends. Alright, is she gonna call me on this bullshit? Hey. Presto! Dude, it's getting old. Try and dazzle me with another trick. Okay, I'll, I'll tell you the color of your underwear. Here I go. So what kind of fucked up thing is going to happen during this scene? No running, no diving. You got to do a little running. We do a little running. No diving except off of this. Okay, it's going to let me walk over this, right? It's going to let me walk over this, right? Yeah, something's right. Nothing hiding. All right, let's go. Chloe just couldn't wait to splish splash in the pool. How about we put her phone down before it gets wrecked? Max, try to find the light for the pool. I want to see the sharks. Otters don't like sharks. They bite. So do I. Hit that light. Is it over there? Or is it... Oh, there's a room we didn't go in. I don't think anybody has ever drowned here. I hope. Uh, the principal will cover it up if they did. In case I run out of air, I know where to come. Okay, is Chloe gonna almost die again? Is this like every episode Chloe almost dies? There has to be a control panel for the lights around here. Coffee and swimming. Good combo. Yes, we get it. Otters. Don't even think I'm gonna make a move on you. Now I have the power over light and death. <laughs> Otter Goal Fall 2013. Win, win, win. So the big plan is win. What's the water sport they're playing? Water volleyball or something? What? What is it? Aww. Polo, water ball. Oh, just just a swimming contest. Oh, I thought it was more of a like a a competitive like sport. Let's score some points. Well, she changed fast. Oh God. Hey, Chloe. All right. Time to do or dive, Max. Oh yeah, baby, it feels like a hot tub. And with my cash dash, I'm queen of the world. Bow. How much money a day would it keep, would it take to keep the fucking swimming pool warm like that? Even overnight, 
I guess it would cost way more to reheat it up every single day than to let it go cold overnight. It's 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 harder to make something warm than to keep it warm, right? This seems like a, like a colossal waste of money. I'm feeling good about stealing that five grand from the fucking uh, drawer. <laughs> Why did you just say? You feel good about the first time Chatter just breaking that to say flat? <laughs> Is that what that was? I only caught the end of that. <laughs> Tell me you're not gonna stand there watching me like a zombie. Don't you dare! My phone! Don't stop me, hippie! Okay, you asked for it. Cowabunga! Why, 18 look, by the an way otter in my water dun, 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 19 dun, dun. by the way you are so obvious and I still get freaked out by that movie so stop I can't even watch any of those shark shows <laughs> oh it's just a nice scene about splish splashing all right I'll just rewind and harpoon you otter's revenge cheater yeah you wouldn't know about that it turns out I can't rewind when I'm in water. Oh no! I wish Rachel was here. She would totally love being in here at night. Wish you guys had met each other. Get over it. Will. With all this stuff going on, I'm starting to think everything is related. What's and with I her want constant to find out for Kate's ripple sake. from her head? Oh, it's gone. She almost died today. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. Thanks, girlfriend. You know what I mean. You're becoming like this force of nature. More like luck of nature. Come on, my power failed trying to rescue Kate. Maybe I'm just stumbling back and forth in time. For what reason? You didn't stumble when you saved me, Max. What if I had? <laughs> Thanks to you. These are both awful. What if I had? Thank God. But what if I had? What if Kate didn't jump, but you would be dead? So it's time to start moving forward in time. And we're obviously connected since without me, you would have never discovered your power, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. You make me feel like I know what I'm doing. And you make me feel like I have a reason for still being in Arcadia Bay. I hope so. Stop being so goddamn humble. You're like the smartest, most talented person I've ever known. What? More what, than Rachel. What about, yeah, what about Rachel? Dude, I'm not her groupie, okay? I am. And I'm sure you have Blackwell bros all over you. Like Warren. Warren is nice. You're the bro killer. Gro You're the bro killer. You're, yeah. You're the bro killer. <laughs> Tats and two. There you go. You did not just say that. Plus, I am not down with these Arcadia Bay hillbillies. I don't blame you. Anyway, we have bigger fish to fry. Like McReady, right? yeah. No worries. Once you get over yourself, you're going to make the world bow. As long as you're there with me. Don't look so sad. I'm never leaving you. What is this? Now I'm getting cold in here. Because we're yapping instead of attacking each other, otter versus shark style. This is gay, Joe. It is. It does come across as kind of gay, and I, I'm, I'm f all for that. Go. It's. It feels like a more romantic relationship than a friend. Like seriously. I uh, think I've had my pool experience for the year. Let's check. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. Joe is so cool. It's true, I have not played this game before. Oh, that, that was it. Okay. Gross. I feel like we just went swimming in Chlorine Bay. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. You too, that's why it's blue. <laughs> you would know. Yeah, ah, uh, there we go. <gasps> uh oh. Hi. Just rewind. It's David Madsen. Wait, how do we get here? Okay, if I go back over there, the guard will definitely bust me. What guard? I want to see him. Where is he? Where is he? Okay, if I rewind, he's got to be there, right? 
No, he vanished. He's like the Slender okay, Man. If I go back over there, the guard will definitely bust me. It's Mavid. It's Mavid Dadson. Oh no, not Mavid Dadson. Turn your fucking cell phone light off. People are gonna see it, love. For a hiding spot, or both. Let's use our power. Oh, it's it's stuck here. Okay, hide in the locker. Hide in here. Nope. Hello. <laughs> oh no. Hello. Anybody there? Whoa. Better not try any Halloween pranks after today. Hit him in the head. I'm serious. Hit him in the head. Hit him in the head. I heard something over here. Who's here? Anybody there? <laughs> <laughs> Better not try any Halloween pranks after today. I'm serious. I heard something over here. Who's here? I got I got a flashlight and a stick. Oh no! What he doesn't see us? I got, I got a flashlight and a stick. Hey! Hey! Stick. And a stick. Oh, there's two of them. This is getting out of hand. Hey! Where's Chloe? So many all of a sudden. This bullshit. You can't go back to your dorm now. You're a Blackwell fugitive. Crash at my place tonight. You want me to crash with a Blackwell security officer? I just busted lift so I'll be safe. Okay. Into the car. It's the car. The casino. Get in. Meow. We're sleeping in the car. <laughs> Later, fuckers. Max, you rock. We are so fucking awesome. <laughs> Yes, we so are. Okay. Well, now there's enough evidence here to put it together that five grand went missing that night. Uh oh. This is starting to feel awful like a filler episode to me. Is her dye leaking? What's going on here?
Yeah, let's take a selfie. Always remember this moment. Take it in front of the American flag curtain. Photo Everyday hog. hero. Photo hog. Hi, Carlos here. It feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Like it needs another one. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. Like raise money for the handicapped. I can't a photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. True. Even though I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch? Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... since you left, basically. If I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. Wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. Is there any lip syncing at all in this in this scene? It feels completely off. It just feels like the mouth is just like flopping up and down. Like it's not there's no attempt at all to match it with the words. It was a small team, but I think that the other scenes have been pretty good about that. Okay. I, not I enough that I noticed now. it. Whereas this scene, it just doesn't look good. Good season, blow up Blackwell last night. Almost got. By the way, the drive-in is actually popular, so I'm buying the text now. I'll let you take care of the popcorn. In other words, you can't back out now. Oh man. He's excited. Can't wait to just ditch him. I thought Chloe might put up a pic of me instead. Can't compete with Rachel. What the fuck, Max? You've been back for two days. She probably hasn't even thought about switching her phone. Jesus. Now I am glad Chloe took that money. This guy is serious and scary. Wow, look at those, those profile pics. I'm lucky David didn't bust me for acting like it was my pot. Chloe is so damn cute. She's really trying to suss out what my vision means. Super cute. Oh, at least we haven't been identified. Yet. Police and fire departments respond to a break-in and vandalism on the Blackwell Academy campus around 1.30 a.m. What vandalism? Police have not stated if they have any suspects yet. Police arrested a nude man with a sword at Up All Night Donuts. Oh man, I, for whatever reason, my, my brain skipped over the at and it went with a sword up and I was like, oh my god, where the fuck is this going? Off Peckinpah Road at approximately 8.52 p.m., the unidentified man was charged with being under the influence of energy drinks and methamphetamines. He is being held without bail pending further investigation. Thank god she's okay. I wonder when I can visit her. Stable condition. Alright. Can I check out the news on this old laptop? We just did. Time to put on your daily armor, Max. Plus two to cuteness, plus three to wit, minus four to confidence. Yes, I might go to hell for this, but if it saves Chloe, we'll pay it back somehow. We won't. Wow, I remember this old phone. We decorated it together. Together. So I could have hid in the closet, and then David wouldn't be on my case. I tried, and something fell over. Had to rewind and move something, I guess. Chloe seems more relaxed now that she has that money. From the handicapped fund. <laughs> From the handicapped fund? I love this morning light. It's so peaceful. Wouldn't it be wicked if we could just hang out here forever like when we were kids? No. No, too easy. And there's too much shit going on now. Oh, okay, queen of the world. I'll try not to remind you of when we were besties anymore. Rachel loved hanging out with me here. She would have understood. Forget it. Time paradox! Wait, did you just use your rewind powers on me? I love this morning light. It's so... Wouldn't it be with... 
Like Rachel? Yep. I bet you and Rachel liked hanging out here too. You know it. She reminded me of you when we faked sleep so our parents wouldn't make us get up too early Saturday morning. Did you guys have a lot of sleepovers? As many as possible. But it was more fun at her place. Step Commando wanted us up at the ass crack of dawn. It's cool to be back here with you. Ugh, still reeks like a chlorine factory. See if you can find a suitable outfit in my fashion hall. Okay, time for some Chloe cosplay. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size. Are we going to become Rachel? Are we going to go back in time? We are Rachel? What's going on here? Can I start calling you Rachel? But not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. Stop second guessing yourself, Max. Put this. And if you time travel back far enough, your freckles go away, and also if I grew my hair out. Oh my god. My god. Come on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? I double dare you. Kiss me now. Damn. You're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's into girl and girl action. Easiest decision You're of my such life. A dork. Oh man, that was priceless when I kissed Chloe. She didn't think I would. <laughs> Why are we just immediately like going over it? I think Rachel's style is a little more subtle. Like me. It feels right after the pool talk last night. And they deserve each other. They're both fucking terrible. Oh my sick, god. Max? A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka Bra. Shaka Bra? Maybe not. Go on down and say hi to Joyce. What piercings? Chloe doesn't have any piercings. I have to uh, wake and bake first. I promise not to tell. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? I like flannel, and I'm I'm tired of pretending that I don't. I'm that much of a dad. I don't think I'll be moshing today. You're so dependent on like pot that you have to like smoke up in the morning before you can get really. Check you out, Max. Ready for the runway? Go downstairs and show Joyce. She'll love it. Huh. The fact that she put the photo next to Rachel is so touching. Burgers, please come back. Are those condoms? Wow, sir. That was my 10th birthday. I didn't know Chloe kept this stuff. Okay, who were they? These were guests at your party? Huh. All right. Oh my God, that smells so amazing. It's like when we were kids here. The bird. I better not go in there. David might be in bed. Ew. Ew. No, he's up at the crack of noon. Or the crack of daybreak. He's awake. Looking good. <gasps> No fucking way! No fucking way! Really? No way. That's the bluebird I saved Monday in Joyce's room. So, they just, just like, okay, fuck it, I guess we live with a bird now? What?
Chloe has had this damn dirty pirate towel since we were kids. <laughs> Serious flashback. Did she put any effort into that at all? Effort is so, like, digital, and I'm more analog. It's better to just, like, point the camera vaguely in the direction that I think the photograph would look good, and then my feeling and spontaneity goes into the photograph that I take. And also just ignore that it means that I don't have to take any, put any work or effort or expertise, you know, finesse to the photograph. I just, you know, like, I just feel it out. Snap. Oh, I have a gift. Oh, it just works out for me. Okay, cool. That's the writing equivalent, by the way, of I don't need to do any editing. My, my raw emotional first draft is the best. I don't need to edit. You know, I haven't gone through a dyeing my hair blue phase yet. Maybe it's time. Oh, holy shit. Where do you end and Chloe begins? Feels so good to wash my face after all that chlorine. And hiding. Yeah, why don't you have a shower? Whoa. What's Whoa. ironic is I always hated it when Chloe used my toothbrush. Excuse me? <laughs> Chloe never used to care when I borrowed her toothbrush. Just use your finger. In an emergency. If you like, if you have no toothbrush in the morning, you know, just put a little bit of toothpaste on your index finger, and just kind of like, just, just, just get it all around. And like, I, I, it's not that great, but you know, it's better than nothing. And then just like, put a bunch of water in your mouth and like, 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 like slosh it all around to get it all clean. Oh, the text message. Max, thank you for my heart for reaching out to me on the roof. You're the only one who was there for me at school. The only one who truly cared. I have to believe you were sent to give me hope. You did so much more than that. My father is grateful as well. You'll always be in our prayers. Love and blessings. Your friend, Kate. Hey, Kate. I need $5,000. I'm so glad you're okay. I will visit you as soon as I can. Promise. And then she died. Hi, whore. <laughs> My god, I thought Rachel was back for a second when you walked through the door. Uh, Max? This might be the one time these people are right. Joyce looks so different in her street clothes. Street clothes. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel. Ah. Oh. <sighs> How do I do this, man? <laughs> I mean, Max, how oh, have you started me? But you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. Pancakes, eggs and bacon. What is the easiest thing to make? Getting the, uh, I'm getting eggs and bacon probably easier, right? Whatever is easier, ah, uh, pancakes. I'm dying for some of your famous pancakes. I thought you would have missed those. Ah, you ate more than William, and he loved them. <laughs> I remember. We would race each other to grab them from a stack. So this time, you- Again, you were like a second daughter to this family. I, uh, I, I hate her so much. You can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the eggs and milk. Eggs and milk? No problemo. Do do do, time to go snooping. Hold on, I need to go shoot oh, some hoops geez. first. Can you help me get this bird out of here? Wait. Oh, that's a Rachel Soul fragment. The blue hair clip. Wait, where is the bird? I heard it. 
Oh, it's up there now. Hey, bird. What's your story? Scare. Oh, look at the poor bird. He seems kind of freaked out. I keep expecting to see the sky turn red. Okay, hold on one second. What if I scare before closing the window? Bird, be gone! Fly, you fool! Donk. Ah, okay, fine. Sorry, I didn't want to walk across the room. Motherfucker's been living with a bird for three days. How did David not shoot it? Oh, that means David hasn't been home. <gasps> What's he been doing? Oh, man. I don't want to be famous for this. Flash snow and freak eclipse. Apocalypse soon. Okay, there, ca there can't be a freak eclipse. All right? Like, all of the greatest minds of Earth are having, like, a panic fucking, like, shoes are on their hands meeting right now about how did the moon move like oh my god what the fuck like there there's like the president is has been in multiple meetings for the past fucking 13 hours as like increasingly more irate scientists come in i don't know what's going on i don't know what we're gonna do this. let's play the message david this is officer corn just want to let you know your stepdaughter's car was identified near the blackwell campus last night around the time of the break-ins. What? Give me a call uh, soon. Are you in trouble again, Chloe? Don't you sleep? Do 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 Got a cover from my girlfriend. <laughs> Goodbye, message. I think Chloe has earned a break from all this bullshit. You didn't hear that message deleted, did you? Okay, good. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. Oh, they have an ice dispenser. Our fridge doesn't have an ice dispenser. I wish we had an ice dispenser. I like them. Okay, I'm going to go shoot some hoops, Joyce. One second. What? Oh, dead bird. Poor thing. Is it the same bird? What if I rewind? Nope. It's clearly a different bird. Keep going? Really? But then I'm gonna have to go and erase the message again. Oh, dead bird. Poor thing. Man. There's a lot of birds. Another dead bird! I wonder how these birds died. What the fuck? It's because of you. It's because of the, the eclipse. All right, time to think about what happened last night. Damn, did I just kiss Chloe? I kissed a girl. That was my first kiss, and it's with a girl. I remember when Chloe and me would take turns in the swing. We would push each other so hard, we'd fly way up in the air. Chloe always wanted to swing all the way around. I always got scared and would jump off before I flew off. And Chloe is still trying to get high. Mm -hmm. Why are there d You know what's really, really weird? Okay. This is not a fun Moncton story, okay? This is actually a really fucked up Monk Moncton story. So, about... 
it's like a 10 minute walk away i think 10 minute walk away from our house and i walked by there quite a few times like not last summer or the summer before and like there it's in the front of like a big like plaza like uh like a big like parking lot in front of a couple stores and there was like a dead bird just at the bottom of like a, a big electric pole or a telephone pole right on the side of the street there was a dead bird there and i'm like okay and then i go down i go down there the next day and now like there was there was two dead birds there and then the next day there was like three or four and i took a closer look at them and they were headless like they had been like beheaded birds that were just like left in a pile there at the bottom of the of the uh, of the electric pole. And when I went back there, like a like a year later, around the same the same time, I went back there multiple times like throughout the year, but not during like 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 it's it's specifically something that happens in the warm weather in summer. Um, and like there were there was another pile of dead birds there like the next the next summer. I don't think those were headless though. It's weird. Three dead birds lined up? That's fucking ominous. Yeah, that's a good picture. What? Was this here before? Are they quantum dead birds? As I turn around, am I finding more of them? Why are there so many fucking dead birds? I need to leave that window open upstairs. Are you moving back to Toronto or any city in Canada? We're probably going to move to Ottawa. I don't think we can afford to go back to Toronto. Ottawa is our, our best bet. Who drinks beer this early around here? Hey Joyce, why are there so many dead birds in your backyard? Chloe still eats the same cereal. So do I. Pff, who eats cereal anymore? The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. Opinion on the Ottawa mayoral election. I don't I don't have one. Come on, Max. Find those ingredients so we can chow down. Oh, I need to find them both at the same time, okay. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. Okay. She said milk, right? Isn't the milk in the Oh, it's on the tip. You left the milk out? It's gonna get warm really f put it back. What are you doing, woman? Put it back. You just can't leave the milk out. Now for the mother's milk. Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in L.A. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but... We are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. Hi, whore. Is Rachel okay? Rachel in trouble? Was Rachel mad at Chloe? Is Rachel okay? Be honest, Joyce. Do you think Rachel is okay? <laughs> God, I hope so. She was... is... smart. She always landed on her feet. Maybe I don't know her as well as I thought. Maybe Chloe doesn't either. Sometimes I feel like I don't know Chloe as well as I thought. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? Yes, maybe. Maybe. Rachel was so much cooler than me. Please say it true, <laughs> you, think? you think? Then why has Chloe been telling me she wishes she could be more like you over the past five years? Doubt it. Um, did she really? Five years- Yeah, Joyce, what she meant was she wishes she could be more like Max, as in, in another city and not having to talk to you. Fucking, come on, Joyce. What the hell? It feels like a thousand now. And that makes me, what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, youth. If only I could go back. Rachel was it's hotter than you, though, that, Max. Joyce. Voila, a breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> go sit at the table. Oh, this is gonna be fucking awkward. Got your husband fired, by the way. While you're really strapped for cash at the moment, and now you have to feed me. Go on, grab a seat, Max. I'm almost done whipping up this amazing breakfast. Mm -hmm. 
Number one dad, peanut I'm butter. I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. True. I guess nobody waters the planet here. Uh, we Thank you so much, ours. Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. Good, you can clean. Now that's what I call pancakes. Oh, I'm looking. I guess nobody waters the plant here. Oh, are we done eating? Seeing you again, ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Uh, Killed Rachel, by the way. I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. Okay, wow, can, can we see them? I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. I have that now. Oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this. And, and Do you still think about that? I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you morbid. to Morbid? This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, and everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Uh-oh. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? Okay, so, like, that's not... That's not her roots growing in. The 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 fucking pool water fucked up her hair dye. It's not always about you, Chloe. It's please, about me. it's too early to start picking a fight. Eat instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering, or uh, I'll know you're oh. talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. No one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Yeah. Excuse me. I have to use the bathroom. Yeah, Chloe. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now, who's being paranoid? Chloe. Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. <gasps> I do need to get into David's computer. He's got to be hiding shit. It's kind of, kind of kind of realistic though. Ever been at your friend's house and your friend starts having like a little bit of a fight with their dad or their mom and it's getting a little bit too serious and you're just sitting there like drinking your drink like uh <laughs> and, you, and you're almost kind of taking their parents' side. You're like, you know, dude, you're being kind of a prick right now. <laughs> You're like you kind of maybe you should do a little bit of cleaning you know what i mean like it's not they're not being that unreasonable <laughs> laptop we can't go in anywhere else all right we can rewind here right yeah we can okay Damn, they have quite the collection out here. Warning, I don't dial 911. Wow. No shit, it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. My home is my castle is his password. Nothing in it. Are we really just going to find the password? Naturally, David would buy a heavy-duty military padlock. I can even see the combination. 
It might be a useful password. 7171. Okay. Let's try it. Such wrong. That cuz cuz you put in you put in more than four digits. That's why. Do it again. Do it again, but this time right. Okay. Magic All right. Magic says no. All right. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. Nothing to see here. What the f What the fuck? Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. Chloe, I'm so happy you were born today. Thanks for bringing me bringing me into the family. Love stepdad. Bringing me Arcadia Bay. Two whales. It's not stepdad. David has been dragging his head around since 2001. A single shot award, 2001. It's not going to be 2001, is it? He's the security officer. He's going to have a better password. Obviously, David's parents care about him. That date might be a good password. Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. Password. Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. It was an honor having you in the diner. Nice to know that gentleman still exists. Let's talk to, talk again with you soon. By the way, the name is Joyce if you forgot. Smiley face. This was three days after William died. That might be a useful password. Two Wheels Diner receipt 112708. Two years ago-ish? Eggs and sausage. Now the car looks ready to roll. This is a better hobby for David than surveillance. What's the TV show on this one? Did we do this one? CTV. Oh, it's True Detective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that one. Thank you. Thank you, chat. Even David Madsen might be an angel to somebody else. USMC, my, wait, what? Field Angel. Yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be Field Angel. I bet David has all of his surveillance secrets in his laptop. Field Angel. Oh, keep your wings up. Nope. No, no. Okay. <sighs> Try again. Nope. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. Oh man, this is a long rewind. Knows me for sure. <gasps> Chloe can't get another gun now. Unless she steals it back from. Huh. Maybe this ID number might work. I could try the license number for the password. Why is it giving me so goddamn many? Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? All right, let's try the army one. Worst hacker ever. Okay, that didn't work. Family, uh, we tried all these, right? Or did we not try 112708? We didn't try stepdad. Oh, 
Shitball. Shitballs. Did we try 11? I don't think we tried 11, 27, 08. All right, Score. we're in. Max the hacker strikes again. We're in. Whoa, spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? Wait, did she though? Rachel has been cutting class all week. Frank and Rachel meet once again. Rachel avoids her dormitory. Follow Rachel to Lighthouse. Arcadia Bay Police Report. Arcadia Bay Police Report. Nasratu Tech Support. Case number 678. Reporting Officer Anderson Berry. Incident Report. Rachel Amber, 18, was picked up at 2.35 p.m. at Blackwell Academy for possession of a controlled substance. This was reported by David Madsen, head of campus security, who witnessed her trying to hide or secure a suspicious medical bag. This officer was called in to question Miss Amber, who responded with threats and denials. Her bag was found to contain various illegal pharmaceuticals. See attached page for full details. Oh, I will. Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. Okay, I won't. Kate M follows same path to every class. Oh, and? It, it, okay. Her, her class, her rules overheard Kate and Dano W talking about supplies for Vortex Club Party. Drugs? Watch Kate with her church group. She knows her Bible. <laughs> Kate stays in bathroom longer than other students. Drugs? Saw Kate helping Jefferson after class. Drugs? Don't trust grown men with goatees. All right. Madsen, when you're right, you're right. Kate has kept to herself since Vortex Club party, not even church. Drugs? Tried to talk to Kate about the party. She got upset and ran. Guilty. Drugs? That's the reason he was stalking her? This is Fucking so hell. Wrong. Oh, creepy bastard. Max Online Aliases, Mad Max, Max Factor, Noir Angel. I better tell Chloe about this now. It's just one more thing to make her sad and mad. Okay, so this went nowhere. Can we turn laptop off? Whoa, spoiler alert. Instead of this is so wrong, oh, creepy bastard. Okay, so we rewind it, right? Ha ha, even the screensaver's on. That was a big P. Oh, I should know that Chloe can't get through an hour without creating drama. Sorry, Joyce. Nice breakfast. David, you, you back already? That's what happens when you lose your job as head of Blackwell Security. What happened? What she you didn't would know to happen in this PC college bullshit age. <laughs> Principal. <laughs> what has that got to do with anything that happened? Takes the words of lying stone students over a veteran and law professional. Uh, again? This isn't the first time you've gotten in trouble there. Well, now it's the last time. I'll get a lawyer to sue their ass. Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? Yes. You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. I can't believe you got fired. No. Of course I can believe you got fired. Did you threaten some poor student with a stockade? He threatens them with surveillance cameras. So he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. He used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? 
Side with David. Side with Clo- Side with David? So- Okay, fuck it. Listen. We don't know that David did anything, and nobody has any proof against him. Except my photograph. As far as we know, it's Nathan Prescott who's the real threat so far. I would cut David slack here. Oh, would you? How generous, King Max. So suddenly it doesn't matter how shady David has been acting. <laughs> He's like, wow, thank you for sticking up to me. No one ever does in this house. You know what, Max? You're all right. I'm sorry that we've had our differences. All right, cool. Butterfly shows up in the screen. Then, the next day, in the meeting with the principal's office, discussing his parole. I fucking hate you, Max! She's a drug dealer! She's in my house and she fucking talked to my wife! I fucking hate her! Get her the fuck out! Oh, okay, cool, alright, thank you. Those weird files on your classmates. Or how you're always going off on how creepy David Enough. is. Enough! I don't want anybody being accused of anything! There's been too much of that crap going on around here lately, and I don't want it in my home today. Well, I agree with that. Now, if you all don't mind, I'd like to forget about work and sit down and eat some of this incredible grub. I have to take a dump. Are you coming, Max? To, to watch you? What? What? Maybe I went too easy on David for Joyce's sake. Thanks again for defending me, Max. But this is my family now. Max, I appreciate you sticking up for David and our family. Even if Chloe doesn't. Got him fired, by the way. All right, let's go. Thanks for letting me down again, Max. What do Why you mean? Why don't you just rewind so I don't have to see you defending that asshole? Wow, she wants us to do it. Okay. No, I'm living with it. Listen, when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank. Man. That's, that's going to be pretty bad when we have to talk Chloe off the roof later. Chloe, I, I love you. I kissed you. I'm a part I'm a part of the family. That's true. You have you have been uh the in the life for the forever. That's true. And I've always been there for you. Not true, Max. You stuck up for David when it when it came to talking after breakfast. But I did tell you about the surveillance. That's true. You did tell me about the surveillance. And also you followed me when we took a dump. Yeah. But you didn't advance. You didn't fucking ignore that phone call for the girl who killed herself a day later. We didn't know that at the time. You still More than friends. <laughs> right. No way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not going to believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? Yeah, let's, let's do that. <gasps> Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything, <gasps> for his sake. Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted, he sometimes forgets to lock it. What the hell is that? I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Oh, time Shit to make a pipe bomb. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his... Wait, what? What, what did she say? V, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. No, time to talk to McReady. How's it going, McReady? Did you catch some serious fish? Good morning. How are the fish today? <laughs> He's a one personality trait. Uh, here we go. Don't ask. First the snow, then an eclipse. What's next? The tornado? He knows. He knows climate change. You don't think it could be like climate change or something? I'm a fisherman, no scientist. <laughs> I know the sea is warming, but this is something new. Maybe worse. What do you mean, worse? <laughs> the fucking Okay, chat, does the game end? 
does the game end with David Cage walking out of the credits? Like, the credits freeze frame record scratch, part like a curtain, and David Cage walks out in his David Cage Life is Strange avatar and goes, <laughs> Now, I know we had a lot of fun today talking, playing Life is Strange, but in real life, the world is facing a real cri a really another a crisis of its own when it comes to the weather, climate change, and unlike Max, we can't rewind our actions. So it's time that we all get <laughs> You knew what was going on with the fish around Arcadia Bay. <laughs> what fish? Sorry, I'm just too the salty fish. to talk about it. You salty fisherman! See you around, kid. Can't chat now. Gotta focus on the fish. Ooh, there's no fish here. You're in a fucking diner parking lot. Good morning. How are the fish today? <laughs> Why is it so funny? Don't ask. First the snow, then an eclipse. What's next? The <laughs> It's just. Underlined fish. I'm going with I hope not. I want to see what the other one is. I hope not. I hope not. That'd be worse. We could get one of those California quakes. True. Well, I'm feeling a little dizzy now. Um, hope you catch the big one today. I better. Too late to switch careers now. See you around, kid. He's dug in. I can't believe this guy's back Good again. How are the fish? Don't ask. How are the fish to the fish? I heard that something bad was happening to the fish in Arcadia Bay. Well, since you mentioned it first, there ain't no fish in Arcadia Bay. What? What? Come on. None? None worth catching and eating anymore. I'm not shitting you. What? Salmon, trout, bass have died and migrated. Even the damn clams are dying. Like the birds. Oh my God. But what about... Sorry, just... Too salty to talk about it. See you around, kid. Like I said, I'm done talking about this. <sighs> Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. Look ready. Nope, I don't want to go there. <sighs> Deja vu. There's dust on the dust now. Wait, why did this have consequences? Is it is it just that it would be here in the later scenes? That's the consequence? I hope she finds a nice T-bone to keep the doggy busy. In the garbage, yep. Yeah. Locked. Careful, Max. Cujo ahead. You know what we should do? We should go ask McReady to get us a fish and feed the f Oh... This is so creepy. Oh, it's everywhere. It's not just in Joyce's backyard. Uh oh. What is going on here? Oh. Uh, can we just see them fall out of the sky? Look at that shadow bird. The the unexpected eclipse probably fucked them all up. How's it going? Peachy. Interview over. Bad day. Worst interview. Worst interview ever. Work is dried up around here, and I have bills to pay. There are no more trucks. They're all got. gone. That sucks. Well, keep Wish on I trucking. Could drive right out of Arcadia Bay. Old town is crumbling. Snow, eclipse, and a slut trying to commit suicide. Maybe you should leave then. What if I could? And even that shifty Rachel What's-Her-Face asked me once if I'd drive her to Los Angeles. You knew Rachel Amber? Everyone did. Can you tell me about her? Nope. Christ, why don't you get a real job instead of homework? Yeah. I'd like to see you Blackwell turds try to drive my 1977 Needham 18-wheeler out there. All right. Like I said, interview over. Time to rewind and say, hey, is that your 1987 fucking Needler wheeler back there? I love that kind of truck. Can you tell me anything about it? Here we go. Here we go! 
Wow, is hey, that a 191897 whatever the fuck? Over. Here we go. <laughs> Actually, I wanted to ask if that's your bitch in 1977 Needham 18 wheeler out there. How the hell did you know that? Blackwell class, Rachel Amber. My friend Rachel Amber told me about this cool rig in town because I love taking pictures of truckers. You knew Rachel. She sure didn't give a rat's ass about truckers. Or real work. Oh, so you must have known her too? Only from the diner. She was just a gold digger. She belonged in California with all those you know who know what. Other hot girls. Good riddance. But you can take pictures of my truck anytime. Take care. Oh. Okay. Like right now? I can take the picture? Oh, okay. I made the trucker happy, and I get to photograph this bitch in 1977 Needham. That's a big tin four, Max. Ooh, wait, what? You d you you actually like the tr You actually like the tr Did you just did you just speech 100 yourself? Okay. <laughs> What the fuck? So ominous. Oh, it's forming a tornado. The birds are just flying around in a circle until they fall over Deed. Look at that. It's so sad and disturbing and beautiful at once. What an amazing shot. What an everyday hero. Real Safiturkin. Real. R Rules of attraction, says chat. Okay, thank you. That one's hard. Hello, homeless. I hate seeing old women on the street like that. <sighs> nice world. Oh, that's the same cereal I eat. Can I have some? Hi. How are you? I remember you. I heard about that girl almost jumping off the Blackwell roof. Rachel, Kate, sad week. Rachel. I think it's all connected to Rachel Amber's disappearance. A lot of things in Arcadia Bay are connected to Rachel. Frank. Frank Bowers knew Rachel. Have you seen him around? I heard him bragging that he took a gun from some trespassers. I don't know how he hasn't been arrested yet. Sounds like you know a lot more than me, child. I just think Arcadia Bay is in trouble. Maybe you'd like to tell me what you're hiding. Rewind. Blah, 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 blah. So do you want to know what I'm hiding? Tell, I'm telling the truth. I feel like I can trust you as much as Chloe. And you wouldn't think I'm crazy. Too late for me to judge anybody. Plus, you're not crazy. I'm just gonna say this. I, I had a vision of Arcadia Bay being destroyed by a tornado. For real. Could be. Bad mojo is in the air this week. Thanks for the warning, Max. Do, 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 do. Oh, so what, she bounces? Thanks for that storm warning, Max. And uh, I'll let you know if I find out anything. And that's where my story ends. I didn't listen to the teenage student that told me that a tornado was coming into town and going to destroy it. So I was still there when the tornado hit. If only I had been more careful and listened to the ominous... Ooh, Rachel, how's it going? How's Kate? She's okay. She had a nap today. Bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Is that a butt crack? Ugh, but I need to get those keys from Frank. Okay, it's officially sold out, but I managed to get us both tickets. Had to fight a dozen bullies off for him, though. Freaking nerds. Okay, we're still not answering. Still not answering. Didn't Dad 
can text this. Maxine, Pop here. Maxine, Carlos here. I'm sorry I haven't gotten in touch sooner. I know your mom is very proud of you for saving that girl. As am I. This should have been a phone call. We have no doubt sending you to Black Hole is the best thing you ever demanded we do. It makes us a smiley face. It makes us so proud to read about you in the news and see actual video of you walking down the roof, roof with that girl. Too bad that it's completely overshadowed by this fucked up eclipse story. Hardly anyone's reporting it. Everyone's just talking about the eclipse. The moon moved in the sky, Max. What's going on? I'm scared. And if you want to come back home now and relax and maybe go to a high school around here, the door's wide open. Love, Pop. Thanks, Pop. It's been a whirlwind here. I'm not ready to come home yet. Talk later, Maxaxo. You should have jumped, ass wipe. The seventh sign, the sea and sky will turn black and living things die because of it. Shit. <laughs> what are the other signs then? <laughs> yeah, okay, we're taking this seriously. Arcadia Gay sucks deck. Okay, it's gotta be about the eclipse, right? What, why are they focusing on the snowstorm? Please feel free to call in and let me know what your experience has been. What you think this might be. <coughs> Hello, yes. It's because of a snail. This crazy weather. Okay, alright. So, we, we climate change the moon into a different position. Alright, nice. I just wanted to see what would happen if I did this. I'm gonna kill you. Now we all got him. Okay, we're turning evil. I could chug this beer, or dump it on Frank. Beer is gross, so. Never mind me, officer. I'm just here to steal a drug dealer's keys. Did you win? Did you win? Hey. Oh, what the hell, man? That is not mayo, that's mustard. What the fuck? How'd they get that wrong? No attention to detail in this game. Oh, hey, how you doing there? Nathan's... Why are you... Is this the only only diner in town? Nathan and Frank together? That's a bad combo. Together. Can't drop any tunes right now. Keys. Yum, I want everything. Looks tasty, but my need for keys comes first. Wow. I could go for a donut. Maybe I'm gonna go out and get a donut. No, I don't want a donut that bad. Frank Bauer stars in A Face Full of Beans. Those are beans? You eat like a pig. Try the floor. I was eating those beans. Are you fucking insane? I was eating those beans! <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Poor Frank! What the hell? He was just eating his beans! He can't even believe it! I was eating those beans! Frank Bauer stars in A Face Full of Beans. Okay, the game needed more of this fuck around with your time powers. Turn up the brain to 11, Max. How can you snag Frank's keys? Rachel? You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing up like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. What the fuck do you want? 
take a picture of me and I'll break your fucking camera. How do you know these are Rachel's This voice clothes? sounds familiar. Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. You're lucky I just took that gun from you. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. In other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer, or even Nathan, and then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. Or we get a knife, stab him in the throat, just get the keys off of him as he lays there dying, and then rewind and go to the RV. But we wouldn't rewind, we just let him be dead. What, what are we doing? You'd never know how weird this town is by these postcards. Uh-oh, someone's upset. Sounds like Al-Qaeda. Rachel! Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh, oh look, Max. How often did Rachel wear this outfit? Amber, nice outfit. Looks like ass on you. Sure hope you're not following me. You're in enough trouble after you got David fired. Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. No worries, because you're the one trying to fake it till you make it. At least you were smart enough to keep your big mouth shut in the principal's office. Next. Drugs for sale. Listen, Nathan. I'll take back everything I said about you. If you hook me up with Frank. Know what I mean? You look like you've never even taken a hit of baby aspirin. How do you think I stay wired all night studying? So is it a deal or not? Calm down, hard up. Deal. You'll get your school supplies. Just go over to Frank and whisper, higher education. You'll hook your ass up. Oh. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant oh. Caulfield. Oh. Okay, there's no way that's gonna work, but we're gonna try. Hey, you know me, and I know you, and I know what you do, and I know what you sell, and you know that I know what you sell, but now I have the password, so you're legally obligated to sell it to me now. Here we go. What the fuck now? Higher education. Buy drugs. By the way, Frank, I was wondering if you had any, um, higher education. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Do you want the after-school special to go with that? Jesus. Look, I don't sell anything but bottles to feed me and my dog. I work for a living. Not like you spoiled Blackwell punks with too much time on your hands. But... But nothing. Don't ever ask me for anything ever again. Ever. And I'll back off. <coughs> time Paradox! Oh, that's Mila, actually. Mila's a sub sign. Can we go faster, please? Oh, are we doing, like, outside now? We're not talking to the... to the... Hold on, did we just erase the homeless lady? Rachel! Uh, what? Next. Rachel and Frank. I bet Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. She was above drugs. I doubt that. She was a like drug. You would know, virgin. Oh, got her. knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. Why does it slow down so much at the end? Is it loading? Rach? Your father. Your sugar daddy will always protect you. And threaten me. You don't know shit about my father or me. Nobody here does. Then tell me what I should know. Why? So you can pretend to care, hmm? Spoiler alert, he's an asshole. Maybe I could help you. I don't need you for anything except to stay out of my fucking business, understand? Now get out of my face. Holy shit, what do you want now? 
Drugs for sale. Kate Marsh. I bet you hoped that Kate Marsh would stay quiet. Idiot says what? Did you what? drug her? You are so stupid, Max. You think you're so goddamn smart, too. Don't push me, girl. You don't want me for an enemy, understand? Do you? Calm down, dude. We're in the diner. Right. Plus, you're an adult now. I can sue your dumbass for libel. Thanks. Now fuck off, Dyke. Okay. Do we rewind here? Holy shit. No, no. I want I want Rachel. What the fuck? Yeah, there's nothing new. Leave. See ya. Alright, do we really have to talk to the cop? Hold on, let's see if I can do this without breaking my rule. Hey, Frank. Buy drugs. Chloe's debt. Could I get you to drop Chloe's debt? Are you supposed to be a smart student? You'll find out if you do me this favor. Thanks, Godmother. But I don't need your favors. And Chloe doesn't get any from me. Okay, buying drugs isn't gonna do shit. Alright, I don't think spilling the beans or spilling the can is gonna do anything either now. Alright, so I guess we have to talk to the cop. There she is, Super Maxine. That's your new nickname around the bay. Sorry, but you did earn it. We're all real proud of you for helping Kate down. Who the fuck Thanks, are you? Thanks, Officer Barry. I was just lucky. And right on time. Kate is who counts. <laughs> I'm glad you're representing Blackpool Academy. Weird Town, Kate Marsh, David Madsen, Rachel and Frank, Nathan Prescott. All right, let's go with uh, David Madsen. I feel like David Madsen represents Blackwell. Not for long. He's a loose cannon. We all respect him for his service, but he's too eager. He's eager to be a dick to me and Chloe. That's true. He was ranting about a stolen gun, then I tuned out. Somebody's always out to get him. Stupid gun. What can I do for you, Max? Do you think Arcadia Bay is a weird town? I'd take a normal city with normal problems about now. It makes me sick thinking about it. Kate Marsh. I guess Kate Marsh will be the face of Blackwell for a while. And you for helping her. That's the kind of school spirit we need more of. Nathan Prescott. I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. Well, don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the Prescotts represent. Taking over Arcadia Bay? You're not far wrong, Max. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago. So I made a deal with him. The devil. Like that your I devil can't horns behind you, Max. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. I better finish my breakfast first. We'll chat later, Max. I shouldn't have said that. I'll need to rewind. All right, now do I have enough information to talk to him? I don't think so. David is after the gun. David Madsen is looking for that gun. He might show up on your RV step. Ooh, I'm trembling. I don't need to take his little museum piece. Um. Okay. You know what? I don't even really understand what we're trying to do right now. There she is. Thanks. I'm glad... Okay, Prescott deal. Well, I heard a rumor you were working for the Prescott family on the side. Jesus, doesn't this town ever- it's the, the, the first thing she says to him. Shut up. I don't blame you for getting extra work. Look, sometimes I check up on the Prescott family to make sure they're doing all right. Nathan included. Keep this quiet, Max. Oh, I will. Holy... 
cop's information. I heard your dad hired a local cop to keep an eye out on you and Frank Bowers. Like a babysitter. Bullshit. My dad doesn't hire. He owns. And these pigs know better than to knock on me. Do they? I hope that means Frank won't get busted. Eventually he will. Guy's into some freaky shit. He told me once he took a weird blood oath for Rachel. Uh, forget I told you that. Seriously. Now get off my crack, whore. Keep your pie holes shut. Holy shit! Weren't you supposed to keep your mouth shut about the blood oath Frank took for Rachel? Blood oath? What the fuck? I never told anybody about that freaky shit. You did, though. Besides, everybody knows Frank is a liar and a loser. Even Rachel did. What did you say about me? You're lucky I'm eating these beans right now, bro. You come over and say it's You know what? Fuck these beans. I'm coming over right now. Here we go. Yet Rachel Amber hung out with him more than you. So? Rachel wanted Frank's stash. She let him take pictures, then he carries around her photo like she posed for love. Dumbass. What the fuck now? Rachel's photo. You know I saw that photo Rachel gave you. Uh, uh how do you know about that? Huh? Chloe, right? I feel bad she for Frank. She just told me that one of Rachel's favorite pictures was the one she did for you. Really? Yeah, I mean, that's what I thought. She was just a natural beauty, you know? Wait, wait, let me, let me find it. Here, <gasps> judge for yourself. Wow. <laughs> I was eating those beans. Are you fucking insane? I was eating those beans. <laughs> I stumped the can all over his picture. I just wanted to see what would happen if I did this. I'm gonna kill you. I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. Uh, you did not just do that. Give me back my keys, bitch. I was using those Give me keys. My keys now. Okay, isn't you gonna notice that the keys just vanish off the Key table? Brought. Now back to Chloe. Okay. Well, hold on, I don't. So as long as as long as Max is touching something, as long as she's touching it, it doesn't get affected by the rewinds. So if if her foot was like touching one of the beans on the floor, would a bean just appear? What if she was touching a person? <coughs> Does it have to be like skin or no? I, I know. Is there any part of her clothes? No, she would lose her belt every single time she teleports, but that just could be a gameplay contrivance. Joe, it's a game. Yeah, but the game is using this as a way to push the story forward, so I want to understand how it works. Oh, someone's going to throw something at Alyssa's head. <laughs> oh, no. Didn't you see the puddle? I'd love to talk, Max, but I'm drowning in puddle scum. What if we're in the puddle when it happens? Someone's really upset. Are you shitting me? Alright, we're at four hours. 
that sounds like it might actually be pretty bad, so I'm gonna go upstairs and check and I'm gonna pee. Be right back. Are you shitting me?
All right, back. Whew, all right. All right, let's rewind it. So it's like a max time, I guess, for like how the scene plays out. Yeah, everything's fine. Let's make sure I did get the conversation with uh, the homeless lady. Thanks for that storm yeah, warning, okay. Max. And uh, I'll let you know if I find out anything. <gasps> the f that can't be the force. The f oh, it's just the office. Oh, okay. It's just the office. Oh, it's north or north again. Careful, Max. Cujo ahead. Did you find something? My Scooby snack, Glowy. I should have known. The amazing Spider Max. I couldn't have done it without Bryant. Now let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. On your mark, get set. Throw! Throw toward the road. Throw toward the parking lot. Oh, I'll throw at the war road for sure. Hit the treat, treat boy. The meat is in the street. <laughs> oh, please, please do not let that poor dog be hit. I bet he's fine. I'm sure he is. Come on, we definitely don't have time to waste now. Oh, please, please don't let that dog be hurt. Or worse. <gasps> Oh, it won't let me see the consequences of the actions. I should have known. The amazing Spider Max. I like dogs. Get the treat, treat boy. I think we just made that dog our bitch. Get it? Now we can snoop in peace, but let's not waste time. Snoop, snoop dog, get it? The doggy is busy now, but he might come back. This would not work. Damn, I thought my room was a shithole. You're not a creepy drug dealer. What Frank doing, has Yoshi? issues, but he's not creepy. At least I didn't think so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet. Kay. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy! Can you see us heading down the coast of Big Sur and beyond? Yes. We Wait, if we're willing to steal, why don't we find someone awful to steal from instead of just stealing the handicap fund that may or may not be, like... Let's steal his own money and pay it to him. Like... Let's just <sighs> fucking You're tearing up the highway. And you'd probably want me to kiss you again. Chloe, we're on a schedule. We need clues about Rachel. Oh, you don't want to kiss again? Okay. I know. Just daydreaming. You scope Frank the area must have a reason to keep a police radar on your body. Go away. Frank Dishes. is almost a made-for-TV hoarder. This place is nasty. I doubt Frank is trying out for the Arcadia Bay Brewers. The archetypal filthy guy dishes. Yeah. 
good to know Frank has a knife lying around. Ooh, all right, we have a knife, a baseball bat. Quick, we need a weapon. Knife or bat? Bacon, beer, soda, spaghetti bag. Crappy wife here. Let's take him days to download porn. Yuck. Pompidou? <laughs> For reals? That's a poodle's name. I think the doggy likes his bone more. <gasps> Presto, Chloe's gun. Should I give it back to her? Stupid gun. I have a terrible present for you. Ugh, an ounce of dank bud? Oh, you so rule, Max. Thank you. I feel so much better now. You better bring it back to David right away. Yeah, sure. I'm on it. Ooh, Chloe just lied. I can tell because I'm an empath. Just empath things. I might regret this, but I can't let Frank hurt. That would be so cool to take this baby on the road with Chloe. I can't quite picture Frank and Chloe drinking beer and hanging out. I can. Of course Frank gets the munchies. Who just like, you know, that's where I'm keeping the fucking candy bar. Bane ketchup. Frank must spend all his drug money on baggies. <laughs> Recycle, dude. That's where the that's where the drugs go, Max. Nice rig. Glad Frank treats something here with respect. How can somebody live like this? Wow, so when Kate's room's a mess, wow, Kate must be depressed and something bad happened to her. But when Frank's trailer is a complete trash wreck, Frank's a fucking piece of shit and hasn't had a hard life or something bad's happened to Frank or anything like that. Yeah, okay. No prize here. Ooh. Too bad I don't have my Frank Bowers decoder ring. All right. So Frank's by? Okay, I respect it. Are these for Frank or is he selling them? Or both? They're Tic Tacs. Is Frank going to deal online now? He's trying to better himself. Not everyone has parents that will send them the fancy pants fucking Blackwell Academy. That's a pretty extreme lighter. Whoa, what the hell is he doing with that dog? <sighs> Stop it. What? Okay, this vent is loose. I need something to pry it open. The knife. Ooh, Frank's stash. Take some? No? Okay. Present for Chloe. That's almost cute to see Frank posing with his dog. I could pry this vent open with the right tool. No more secrets. Or ha have uh have Chloe move drive forward and you hold on to the vents and then rewinds and then the vent will stay with you, but the RV will move backwards. Boom. Now we can break through anything. Let's go. What is the screaming out up, up there? All right, use the knife. This is almost as good as a set of keys. That, that's true. I say that all the time. Sometimes I just pull out my knife to get back into my house. My blade will open any portal. Then it snaps off, goes in her eye. Stupid knife! Oh, we can't open this one? Wait, can we only open one? Seriously, if she just held that down as she... As she oh. Oh, we only open one. Stupid <laughs> knife! Oh, shit. Oh shit, the knife is broken. I cannot believe
believe he would wear a collar and a My blade will open any portal. <sighs> Day one of life with Rachel. I've changed my name to Ross. <laughs> oh man. Rachel and Frank's dog. I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed. Frankie B. Hope you read this first thing in the morning. Sorry about last night. I was being a monstrous bitch and took it out on you. And poor Pompadour. It's, there's a lot of weird shit going on in my life. And sometimes I feel like I'm never going to get out of Arcadia Bay. Thank God for you. You're one of the best things I've, I have here. And I smile when I think of us together. Let's, dress, let's just drive out of here forever. Love you always. Heart R.A. Really? So in her note, she says something like, he's not really a bad boy, but he's intense in a different way. He's a fucking drug dealer that lives in a trailer with his dog. What? It's running around threatening people with a knife and shit. Like, what? What the fuck is she talking about? This is weird. I'm glad Rachel got to drive this beast. She looks genuinely happy. Okay. Rachel really did hang out with Frank. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is this? I'm learning more about Rachel than I want to know. Hmm. Trouble in paradise. Frank, that was not cool what you did. And don't blame the drugs. You actually scared me and I thought you'd never chill out. I've never seen you act the way you did and next time it will be the last. I'm a Leo. <laughs> we don't look back. I care about you, us, so maybe we need to break our routine. Zora. Then this is some other Rachel. Gotta read my horoscope. Okay, seal it back up. Seal it back. Well, we can take it now. We just like we just rewind, right? I cannot believe he would wear a collar and a furry mask. Put the knife back. That makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. Is it her handwriting? I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? I gave my you a gun. My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years. My mother gloms on a step fucker. Now Rachel betrays me. Chloe, Rachel is missing. Nobody betrayed you. Bullshit. You totally defended step stalker. Fuck everybody. Chloe! But then I gave you the gun. You did. You did give me the gun. do 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 <laughs> oh, he's still eating the beans. Okay, all right, that was a scene. So all of that was just to confirm that Frank and Chloe, and Rachel were indeed banging. Me and everybody for everything wrong in your life. Whoa! It's so not fair. Gotta blame somebody, otherwise it's all my fault. Fuck that. Alright. <laughs> Grow up, Rachel and Frank. Nobody's fault. It's just life. Shit happens. It's nobody's fault. Blah, 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 as Mr. Jefferson would say. And, and Kate Marsh. Yes, Kate Marsh almost killed herself. Such sad, okay? But my that life... feel any better about my fucked up life. Get it? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? William? David? William? You blame William? Really? Yes, I do. Damn right. He chose to go out that door and leave me forever. Chloe, your dad didn't choose to leave you. And every single time I see a wrecked car in my secret lair, I think about him and being in a car crash, and Max is like, I knew it! I know that, Max. My mom actually blames herself. Just because Damn. she wanted a ride home from work. Sometimes, even I blame her. No, you don't. Yes, Max, I do. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? And he never does? No, of course not. 
But I was with you that day. It was just a terrible accident. And then you fucked off. I wish off. that made me feel better. But ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Are we gonna have to rewind a car crash? You're still here. I can tell. I can tell. But look at everything that's happened the past week. Your life has changed mine, and that's not shit. I'd really love to believe that. I'd like to believe in something after what's happened. Chloe, I can't do this out on my own. I need you with me. And Rachel needs you. Why is Chloe the main character? Go, Bigfoots! Oh, time to go to school. I have a date tonight with Warren. Oh. I'm going to submit this one to the Everyday Heroes. Oh my god. What is happening now? Oh no. Ba 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 ba. Let's go. Well, this sucks. Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. Max, tell him. Whoa, hey. You look totally pale. Are you okay? Yeah. I just, uh, yeah, I'm fine. Okay, William, on on November twelfth, two thousand and eight, you're gonna want to go out for milk in your car. Don't do it. Okay, Chloe, give me the thumbs up or thumbs down. <laughs> well, I might just allow this one into the family album. You're the boss. What is this? But not the cook. William is here. Hint, Daddy. Yes, and we can't Chloe is just a kid. And serve us slackers. Am I that far back in time? I'm pancakes? stuck. In France, they call them. Crates. I'm 18 years I'm old inside my 13 year old self. How? We. I volunteer to break the eggs. The Chloe looks like Rachel. Eggs. Mom said it depends. That's true. So, how many eggs? Don't you dare question the chef. Right. Like now, I get to take a picture. Strike a pose. Make me oh. a star. Oh, okay. okay. This is Just the first thing. She, this is the first thing she does. You're the real cook here. Oh, William's I the reason why I got into way. photography. William and Joyce are more parents than my own parents. Joyce loves William so much. Good luck, hubby. We're so proud of your promotion. You get a week of two whales waffles on in your own house. Your loving wifey. All right, all oh, the same cereal box that's been there all this time. Man, I remember Chloe reading this, but not after today. Oh, it's it's today. Oh, oh shit, it's oh it, today, like right 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 now today. Oh, oh oh my god, can I rewind? Oh, I can rewind. Okay, cool. So like the. the uh... Oh yeah, Joyce did say that was the last photograph he ever took, right? What's going Hello. on up there? Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. No. I wanted to answer it. Oh, okay. Just going full 11 there, huh? I forgot about this. 
back to the lighthouse. Dad, thanks for the day trip to the lighthouse. This sketch is for you to always remember. Love, Chloe. Hello? Hey, honey. My family never took fun, goofy photos like this. Whoa, what do you mean? Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two whales. Oh, yeah, I miss movie nights here. Cookies and popcorn. Of course, I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Fucking Love you. third party Super Nintendo controllers? Uh, his car today. Ladies, oh, wait, no, what, what is that? She don't have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast you are upon. Ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? Chloe was so into manga. Nice hair. That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Jeez. What a mess we made. I remember those cool drawings I did with Chloe. Where's the where's the game going with this? No matter what you can do, you can't change the past, even though we actually clearly are here right now and have changed uh, some things. Uh, we took another I photograph after the last one he took. Before. Uh, you can't hide from me forever. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Now lock up oh no. No 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 no. All right, hold on, huh? You mean your college fund? Take the keys. Score. Take the keys. All right. Uh -huh. Now I just need to never leave. No, you don't understand. This is what has to happen. Give him his keys and let him go. Shit, where are those keys? No. Another dollar for the swear jar. No, just You're keep them on you. Me. Why would you hide them? Just keep. No. I know I had those keys right here. I know it. Burp, burp. Forgot all about you, little buddy. Release the keys. Of course. Last time I ordered from Spy Guy Electronics. Oh, now Spy you Guy Electronics bus, is going right? to go out of business. The stop is right down the street. This I can do. Good call, Max. Oh, yeah, the bus is great. It comes every 15 minutes, and there'll be plenty of room for you and, and joys and groceries, and, and it'll save the environment. Because there's climate change in the future. You sold me already. I'm off to yonder bus stop. Uh, Joyce will love this. This guy is far too happy and reasonable, and he still died, but now in a bus accident. Max, you are being so fucking strange. You feel okay? Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. Wish I could have explored more. Oh, no. Only this time more people died because it was a bus crash instead of a car crash. Wait, what? Lamoyo, none of the story happened now. F f f f fuck you! Everything you did before now doesn't count. Like, like we literally just changed all of reality. Like the changes from this are spiral out. Like literally nothing we did matters now. Like Kate might not even be at the school. Like. Nathan cares now. Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? All my friends in LA told me that Oregon was Max. Wet and cold every day. But Never, like Maxine. So that's why she was laughing so long. I know. Sorry, Mad is Max. <laughs> You're not pissed at me, right? Right? No, life is better off with her dad dead. Let me go back into the photograph and give him his keys. Sorry, William. Do you want to go hit the girls' potty and smoke a peace pipe? I think Max is high. She's acting like so weird. You cool, Max? Nobody. How the fuck would it change that much? Okay, so we had this discussion in Steins Gate, all right? This this relates to chaos theory, but like, if you went back in time, I don't know how far back you would have to go, okay? If you went back in time, like a couple hundred years even, and you just bumped into someone into the street, that alone would mean that Joe Biden wouldn't be president right now, okay? Like, it's it's that that delicate. Everything is so interconnected, and most of it comes from the fact that um, different people would be born, okay? Like, like 
that's how sensitive the world is to different changes and shit. Okay, like it. We we did, we spoke about this in Steins Gate, and it, and it's like the way that people are born, and uh, and uh, like how how things are determined upon con conception, and like when people have sex, and and actually create the next generation of people. Like just having someone just out of sync by just a little bit that cascades into lots and lots of people, just being like one second off the timeline that they were doing. Now will eventually inevitably lead to just these like larger changes just happening, but still on a smaller scale. But those still small, but just a little larger scale differences would in turn make like the time that people have sex and conceive people create different combinations of their DNA and it would create new people that were born. And once you have brand new or, or some people might not even be born at all. And once that happens like one or two times, or like it would happen way more than that right at the start. Suddenly you have like within enough time, like in a couple hundred years, you literally have a whole new fucking world. Like, like, like just from a tiny, tiny little change. Um, you have a whole new fucking world and reality after that. So this would change, like, obviously it hasn't been that amount of time, it's been five years, but like, yeah, one person being alive and when they were dead is going to be like, like huge change on how everything works with, uh, with all the different people that live in this small town. He listened when I said we shouldn't let her in the vortex. Courtney, you don't want anybody in the club. Like whatever, bitch. Warren. He hooked up with Stella? Oh no! Now I have to go back and kill William. Oh, are we like a bully? Oh no! Th this is totally fucked up! What else have I changed? Where'd this Chloe. Max go? You guys aren't friends anymore. in the chat making fun of me saying yes i'm the smartest person alive this is this isn't my theory like i'm not fucking like i've i've sat there and thought about time travel enough to know this shit like i've just read about it and shit like that's, that's i'm not fucking like waxing philosophical here on fucking on the jay andy stream is this the end Okay, if this is the end, I'm really interested because that came out of fucking nowhere. Wouldn't she have memories? Didn't you watch Zero Time Dilemma? The Max that was here is now in the other reality, and they've swapped places, and the other Max is like, what the fuck is going on? Where am I? Uh-oh. It's another eclipse. Is that a whale? Whales are beaching themselves. We never left Death Stranding. Uh -oh. I'm starting to think that the ending of this game is going to be Max having to go back in time after she like almost destroys the world and is going to be standing in the bathroom and is going to be like, I'm sorry, I have to let Nathan kill you and I just don't use my time travel powers. Like, wh where is this going? Animals are killing themselves. Are oh, do we still live here? Is that is this what this is, or is this um is this Chloe's house? Max Caulfield taking a break after taking Seattle by storm, huh? 
We thought we'd never see you again after you left for the big city. No. I'd never do that to Chloe. Speaking of, I know she's been dying to see you. Hold on. Where's Rachel? Chloe! You have a visitor! Hi, whore. This is cool. I like this. I hope it has a good payoff. Oh, no! Oh, uh, oh. Okay, I take it back. It's not cool. What the fuck happened, Chloe? And you still didn't text or call? What the- even the max on this timeline sucks! And she's friends with Victoria? What the fuck? Okay, so is the conclusion going to be we have to go back in time now and have William die after all? Or is it going to be, alright, when did this happen to you, uh, Chloe? Let me go back and try to fix it. And that causes something even worse to happen. And then, oh, okay, let me go and try and fix that. And at the end, fuck it. I, I, can't, I can't change anything. It's too much trouble. Nathan fucking Shooter. Alright, this is interesting. I like where this is going now. I'm way more on board than I was. That really took me by surprise. I really didn't expect that to happen. That was cool. Did I finish Science Gate? No, I didn't. I never played it again after, uh, after stream. And I never will. You stole the money, you left the money. Ooh, 48%. I'm surprised. Okay, so that tells me that that is actually not real money for that fund. Because there's no way people are safe scumming that one. You kiss Chloe. Yeah. 22% side with David. I'm surprised it's that, that high. You got Frank's dog hurt. Look at these 5% monsters. Chloe has David's gun. Frank has David's gun. All right, we're going to regret this choice. Lisa is alive. Lisa is deed. You helped Warren with his exam. Oh yeah, we did that, didn't we? Oh well. Well, that doesn't matter anymore. We're in a different timeline. You were on the Vortex Club party list. You erased some names from the Vortex Club party list. You didn't change the Vortex Club party list. I could have changed the Vortex Club party list? What did? What was that on there? I don't remember that. I must have missed that. You erased the cop's answer phone message. Yeah. You didn't help Alyssa. Ooh, you warned the homeless woman. You took a photo in the past. Oh, that's not important. I thought we were gonna have to dive into that photo, huh? You left a mark on the fireplace. You didn't leave a mark on the fireplace. Oh yeah, I wanted to do more in the in that in that uh, past scene, but it didn't let us. Okay. Well, that's good. I thought we were gonna be here for another two hours. I just warned warned Lily. I was like, I might be I have to go late today because I I felt like we were only halfway through, but it turns out it was like. Um, fewer longer scenes for, for episode, uh, episode three. Okay. Dude, he's gonna take you back to the past. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, everyone hates me now because I didn't, they, they don't know I saved Kate Marsh's life. <laughs> the dark room. All right. Does that matter anymore? Like, we're in a different timeline. Where the, where the fuck is Rachel? <laughs> uh, all right. Do 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 I'll be totally honest, Joe. I legitimately thought you would hate the photos time travel thing. Hey, hold on. There's still time. Okay? Like, let's see where it goes. Like, as far as I'm concerned, Max has, like, 
way more time travel power than she realizes it and she just doesn't know how to use it that's why she's able to jump in time big distances sometimes when there's a high emotional moment so she probably just kind of like will powered her way back there not even realizing that she could do it and she doesn't know the limitations of her powers now where it goes it remains to be seen but like this just got a lot more interesting to me like this isn't just like small scale what can i change in in my nice like you know high school life he he here i go like no she just changed the whole fucking world man like god damn Now they don't have to explain the eclipse. That's 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 why they jump timeline. Wait, hold on. In, in the time that we released episode two, episode three, some chatters on the forums have pointed out that the the world should be in a different position now because of the gravity change when we move the fucking moon. How are we gonna do that? Oh fuck. Uh, shit. How about we just jump to a different timeline where that didn't happen? Okay, cool. All right, yeah, let's do that. Doesn't that kind of undermine all of the progression we've done in the story so far? Eh, who cares? It'll be a fun moment. Fuck it, who cares? Alright, there we go. Alright, now before we go... Before we go... What is... What's today's Sudoku like? What did Simon and Mark do today? Do, 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 do. An amazing new rule for Sudoku, and it's got 40 minutes. Alright, let's see. Let's see. If I can if I can understand any of this. Okay, I'm not gonna solve it on stream, but I'll put it on the screen and we'll see how it goes. Alright? Did Lily saw your sex? Hold on, let me see. I don't think she did. Oh, she did. She said, cool, what are you wearing? I hope it's only your crystal necklace and phone. Kissy face. I'm in. I'm in. I feel like she's getting, uh, she's getting coached by, uh, Coached by Jads. Do, 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 do. Okay, so if I have OBS over here, is it going to, it's going to show the, which, which display capture is it going to show? Is it going to show the first one or the second one? Hold on, do I have everything bad on the screen right now? If it's your OBS, it would just, it would just show an infinite window. That's fine. If it shows this one right now, that's also fine. Okay, let's go. Okay, there we go. So this is uh, display capture one. All right, so you guys can see it okay? Yeah, all right. So I didn't read the rules yet. So let's see if we can if we can figure this out. All right. So this is today's Sudoku that Simon is doing on Cracking the Cryptic. Um, you know, I don't want to steal any any views or, or thunder from them or anything like that. So uh, 135. How's that gonna work? Um, so we'll just look at it and we won't solve it. And if you want to watch the video, go watch go watch the video there, and we'll see if we can figure anything out else out from this. And then maybe one of you can solve it afterwards. And I, I'll see if I'm gonna do this today. Normal Sudoku rules apply. That means that there's gonna be a one in every line, column, and and uh, and box. Uh, each row, column, and box contains exactly one deflection cell. What? Each deflex deflection cell contains a different digit. All right, so that means that there's a there's another set of like one to nine, and one is in this one, one's in this one, one's in this one, one's in this. One. They're, they're they're scattered around the grid, and they are also one to nine. Okay. Uh, clues outside the grid give the sum of the digits on the indicated diagonal. Digits may repeat along the sum. When a diagonal hits a deflection cell, oh my god, the diagonal gets deflected clockwise by 90 degrees, makes a right turn. If a diagonal passes the same cell multiple times, that cell cell's value is counted multiple times toward the sun. 
Okay, does the deflected cell count as the sum? Okay, so what this means is, is that, so this is 135, which means that it's gonna, okay, so that's, so that's one, two, three, right? That's one, two, three. It's gotta be right. Cause it can't go up there. Oh, it could go deflected clockwise makes a right turn. So one, two, three that way. So that's one, two, three. Does it count the deflected though? And then the line goes like boom, 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 right? I'm a little unclear whether the deflected cell counts. I think it does. I think I think it has to. Okay. If a diagonal passes the same cell multiple times, the cell's values count. Okay, so that that is a deflected uh, one, two, or three. So that that one's out already. So now I know that because I know that's a deflector, I'll make it red. Now I know there can't be any more deflectors uh, here or here or here, right? Um, Fifteen is also. I don't think you can one, two, three, four, five, six. No, it's five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that could be fifteen. That could be one, two, three, four, five, right there. Okay, that could be fifteen. Uh that there's no way that can be ten. So one, two, three, four. That can be ten, and then it has to like no, it can only be four. So one, two. Oh god. Where would it bounce? It has to go up there, right? One, two, three, four. Does the direction of the diagonal of the of the line count for where it's gonna get deflected? The diagonal gets deflected clockwise by 90 degrees, makes a right turn. So if it's going like this, right? And it gets deflected, if it's going up like that, it makes a and it makes a, a, a 90 degree turn, it would go down like that, right? So it's like it's like a mirror, right? So it can't it can't go it wouldn't go up there like that. Oh wait, hold on. Why is it what if it's got a line here? Has to go that way, right? That can't be a deflector, but I'm trying to figure out how it works. And I don't, I don't get it. I think it has to be there. One, two, three, four, five. And we could have one, two, three, which is six. And then one two which is three so now we have nine so we just need we have one degree of freedom i think it has to go there i think it has to bounce off that one i think it has to be that one i don't know for sure by the way i'm just i'm just uh i'm just spitballing here i think it has to be there right did just made repeat yeah but only if uh normal sudoku rules allow it so like these these can't repeat but these can these two can i think that works that's how I understand it anyway. Anyway, so I don't know. You might want to go watch the video and see if Simon explains it better than I can because maybe I'm maybe I'm misunderstanding how uh, the deflections and everything work. This is pretty complicated actually with uh, with the rule set. But I think after you figure it out, you could uh, after you understand, I think you you can have a a, a good uh, good idea of it. Five one. Yeah, you could also do here. Yeah. If it deflects there, you could do it like that too. You could do it in three. Well, it has to come down here. So I am understanding it properly. It has to come down here because there's no way it can bounce off anywhere else, right? And it has to bounce and it can't bounce up. So it has to come down here. So it has to be, it has to be here or here. It has to be one of those. Because if it goes down to four, that's it. We're fucked. We're already done at that point, I think. One, two, three, uh, one, two, three, one. One, two, three, six, one, seven. And then one two oh that works actually if you can get oh shit it could go there too could it you're rotating counterclockwise not clockwise how what hold on can i have the line tool where's the line tool line tool enable pen tool all right okay is this not Oh shit. <laughs> Is this not a clockwise deflection? Boom boom. 
No. That's clockwise. It starts here, boom, and it goes here. It isn't? What do you mean? I think it goes into the t into the cell though and then it bounces out. I don't know how to show that unfortunately. So I would probably do it like I'd probably do it like this and I would make that the deflection cell and I'd probably highlight it in red. Like that. And this and this one goes like like that, right? You can get one in the middle. I just can't remember how to do it. I I don't usually use I don't I usually do this on my phone, right? This isn't necessarily here by the way. It just could be here. There's one here, here or here. Could it be down there? 1 1 2 3 f 1 2 3 one two now we're at eight and no you can't because then i have to be that can't has to be higher so this is it so it has to be here here or here the def it deflects here here or here one of those three for sure so it could go boom 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 or boom 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 or boom 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 one one of those three is is true eight is also too high for this as well i think or is it one one two? Oh no, it could. It could. It could totally fit there. That that could go straight up. Okay, so we don't know for sure that bounces. This one bounces. That one bounces. Thirty one three five bounces a lot. A lot. One three five bounces. Okay, so. Oh holy shit! That's gonna be bouncing all over the shop. It could deflect more than once. I don't think the 10 can deflect more than once, can it? Okay, this seems interesting. It seems pretty hard to wrap, wrap my mind around. So I would, I, from here I would go green and green, 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 and also I green that because I know these can't be deflectors anymore. Was I wrong about this one though? No, it has to be because it has to be one, two, three. It can't. It can't get out of this box. Fifteen. That could be straight right away. If it does deflect, it deflects here or here. Huh. I wonder if you could restrict this more and you could definitely figure out was I right by the way hold on so this is uh say okay so I want to put like one two three one two three one two three but that's going to be a little confusing so instead I'm going to put um one two three and then one and then two one right and they don't see each other and that's one two three six seven eight nine ten so that does work so yeah it definitely can come down here but now I have to put a one up here and a two up here. And that would have to be a one, which means that couldn't be a one. So two would have to be up here. One would have to be up here. And one or two would have to be up here. That would have to be a two or a three. So one is definitely here. So one wouldn't be there. So there would definitely be a one there. Could that be a two? No, it couldn't. It has to be a one because that's the only that's the only way it could go. Okay, so now two is here or here. No, I don't see any restrictions here. It says digits can repeat. All yeah, you, the digits are fine as long as they can repeat w under the rules of Sudoku. Normal Sudoku rules apply, but if if the line goes up here, then then the digits can repeat. Just because this can also be this could also be uh, straight. It doesn't have to have to bounce because we could repeat some digits in here, right? One would have to be here. Seems likely it's going to be on the eight line. Hmm. No, I'm not really seeing where to go. I'm not seeing an easy way to go forward after this, actually. So, you know, I'm probably going to stop the stream before I embarrass myself. Can't six just be a six deflection cell? Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, can it? Oh, shit. That means it's even worse. 
Can it just bounce right back into the wall itself? Oh, shit. Li oh, I'm sorry. That's really rude of me. I should have linked it. There you go. Yeah, can it just bounce into the wall on its own? It's probably going to be this one. It's probably going to be figuring out what's the minimum amount of cells you can do this and what's the minimum amount of uh, of um like you only have you only have nine deflection cells. So it's like, okay, so if I maximize the amount of digits that are on here, how many deflections am I going to have? Because right now, this could be like, this could be 9, uh, 8, 7, uh, 9, 8, 7. And 9 plus 8 plus 7 is a number. Uh, it's 48. So that's 48. So 40, 135 minus 48 is, uh, fuck, 100 and... 95 uh 187 187 so uh, sorry it's just 87 just 87 so it's just 87 so now i have to do five that's a lot more digits with this maximized right so what would i what would i have to keep going with like how many bounces would i need like that that has to that and it can only bounce like once in every in every box and it can't bounce in this box because I know there's at least one here, even if that's a six deflected, which it might be actually. Like I would restart the whole puzzle now, actually. I know there, and I know it can't bounce in both of these, right? It can't bounce in both. So does this need all the bounces? Is where I would go. Because if it does, it needs to bounce like, it needs to bounce like down here. And I think the only way it can bounce down here, oh, could it bounce like? How would it get out of the box? Oh, that's interesting. How would it get down and out of the box? And does the deflector cell have to be used? Like, could could this be a deflection cell, right? And it just, the line, no line just ever goes there. You know what I mean? Like, like yeah, whatever. That's just a leftover one that no one uses, right? Okay, let's uh, let's restart it. So I would I would start with I know I know that this I know that this the one of these two has to be a deflector cell, right? And this has to be one, two, and three, or it has to be six because it really could be six, right? Can it just bounce it back into the wall itself? I think I think that that's possible. It's unlikely to me, but it could be there, right? That that, that could be it, right? So we know it's there, and we know there's one here, here, or here, and we know that's owned by this one, right? So let's draw some lines. Let's draw a green line. So that goes there, and we don't know if it bounces straight into the wall because it bounces off the middle, right? And we know this is owned by that one. So it goes down there, bounces there. So now I know that this has to go up here, right? And if it bounces, if it bounces off of, okay, if it bounces, it can't, it can't bounce here. Excuse me. If it bounces here, then it's going to bounce into that one. So it can't bounce there. So it needs to bounce here or here, or it has to come back here later and bounce out again. How's that going to happen? At some point on this line, it has to bounce. So it takes the one out of this box, or it takes the one out of this box? It can't bounce here, because if it bounce... Oh, I took it off. Cool. All right, so I can just remove it. No, halfway, please. No? Okay. It can't bounce here, because if it bounces here, it can't bounce in the same box. So now it has to bounce in this box. Can the same deflector cell be used for, for different lines? Oh, shit. Can it? Wrong. No, it's not. Oh, wait. You're right. It isn't. Because it has to... It's the, wait.
direction of the, direction of the arrow pointing or clockwise are okay I want to watch the video to see because I'm 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 confused I'm confused direction of the line it would be down yeah you're right well it can't go there then and it can't go up there then Okay, so it can't it can't go up there and it can't go up there because otherwise it can't get bounced out. So the most it can go up to is up here, and then it can get bounced down here. And then if it gets hit again, like it could go down there where it gets bounced. But now it's gonna get bounced into that one. But it could bounce off of it, right? If they can use the same deflector, it could bounce off of that one and go up here, right? Whereas that one bounced off and went the other way. Yeah, so I don't know, I don't understand the rules. Because it could do that, and it could bounce up here, right? In fact, does it have to? Is there not enough room if it doesn't? This is not a good one to do on stream, by the way, because the rules are so bananas. It can't go up there. It can't go up there. Okay, can it bounce here? If it bounced here, it would have to bounce immediately back in, because otherwise it's going to be stuck. Am I, re am I correct there? It can't, it can't bounce here. It can't bounce there. So one of these two, one of these two is a deflector. Am I right? What do you think, chat? It has to bounce down or bounce down there, right? One of those two is, is where this goes in. Because if it goes up here, it's going to bounce down into the wall. And now it has nowhere. Uh, yeah, now you can't have two deflectors in the same box, right? So it goes up here and then it, it can bounce immediately back down where this is a deflector, and then it goes up here. Okay. Does that mean that if this one is a deflector... It has to come down here, doesn't it? No matter where it goes. It has to do that. It has to immediately bounce out. Because if it comes down here and bounces out, now it's dead. Right? So no matter what, it has to go down here like that. Which means that has to be a deflector. It has to be, no matter what. Which means it deflects up like this. And now it hits... Yeah, okay, so they can they can reuse deflectors. Okay, so that's not a deflector anymore. It has to be. So one of these is now a deflector. It has to be. Okay. So it bounces up here like that or here like that. Meanwhile, this one bounces down like that or down like that. So one of these two is a deflector. And I know for sure now that that this one is a deflector. Uh, so this is green. So that means I know this one isn't a six. So now that is a deflector and it bounces up there. Whoops. I don't know how to get it in the middle like that. Sorry. So that's true. So now we know that this is a this is a one two three. And we know that this is a this is all green now. Right. So that can't be a deflector now. So that's the deflector, which means that's not the deflector, which means that's the deflector. So that's not it. So that's not anymore. So it goes up like this, up like this, down. So that gets deflected down there. So that's done. So that's not a deflector. So it doesn't go like that. So that one bounces up. And it has to hit that one. Holy shit! Oh, I broke it. Alright, so it's not that. I made a mistake. Wait, hold on. Where would it go? I think I broke it. I don't think it's that. I think I made. I think I broke it. Wrong direct. Then it's broken doubly because it can't go. It can't go the other way. Did I make a mistake? Where's my mistake? Hold on. So that definitely sees that one. So that can't be it. So it has to go down there. That one also sees that one. So that can't be it. 
So it has to be that one for the logic we did earlier, which means it has to bounce up here. If that one's it, then it can't be that one. It has to be that one. All right, so where, where's my error? I don't see my error. So is there either I'm not understanding something here or there's my, my premise is flawed down here somewhere? Or are we done? Have we somehow found enough digits already that this can end now? Can it just go? Can it just go here? Hold on. Can it just go here? Bounce off and it's done. Is that enough now? I guess it has to be, because it can't go anywhere else, right? So that's it done. So this is uh, ten in uh, three digits, would be like uh, four five one, or. Uh, 631 what else could it be it's one, one one of those kind of things okay i think that's it right is that high enough one two three four five six oh, these count double right that might be that well that, that has to be it it can't be anything else right okay so this gets the so that's an eight <laughs> yeah <laughs> We did it. <laughs> it just hits it and bounces right to the fucking wall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man. Oh, two three five. Yeah, it could also be two three five. Yeah. So it's one one four five. Let me let me put it over here so I can I can see it. All right. So this is fun, right? All right. Let's uh let's let's green the grid, and then I'm gonna stop because I don't wanna I don't wanna encroach on the cracking the cryptic turf. Or will I? Or will I? Well, that has to be a deflector now. I'm having so much fun. That can't be a deflector, because otherwise it would deflect the line. So the deflector's here somewhere, here somewhere. It's here somewhere. Uh, is another line hitting it somewhere? No, that has to be straight 18. And that has to be... Oh, that can't... That could be straight 15. Hey Lily, I'm back on my bullshit. How's it going? Back on? I'm back on. I'm back on my bullshit. Okay, it's hot again. What is it? It's tea. It's tea. Thank I didn't you. Think right. you'd want a coffee better oh, if you were going to be much longer. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You're thank you. Wait, what I miss? Sorry, hold on. Let me backtrack. What did I miss? I missed marking a deflector. Where? Where? Before, what do you mean before eight? That, it hits itself and it's done. Oh, this one, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you're right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot to mark that when we did it and I thought I already marked all of them that we did. All right, so that's not it. That's not it, that's not it. That has to be red, so those are green. I believe. So that's red. That's a deflector. Thank you, chat. I make these kind of mistakes all the time. All the time. So that bounces there. That bounces there. That bounces down. That's done. So one of these is a deflector. One of these is a deflector. One of these is a deflector. That is possibly probably going to be a deflector for the 15, right? Almost certainly. But over here, it, it almost doesn't matter. But uh, we can get a digit from that, I'm guessing, because we, we can see what the other ones are. Like, what what is it going to be bouncing? Because we know this one has to be one, two, three. Deflectors. Oh uh, yeah, for sure. There's there's going to be at least uh, there's going to be at least two, uh, three deflectors on uh, use. The one in this box, the one in this box, and the one over here in this box. Whether or not this one's going to be in use or not remains to be seen, right? This is also green. Whoops. This is also green. So red is in here somewhere. Red is in here somewhere. And red is in here somewhere. Who's your favorite character in Sudoku? Seven. I love the number seven. For sure. Ooh, nice tea. Nice tea. Okay, that's where I'm going to end it. If you want to continue solving the puzzle yourself, go, go for it. But uh, uh, thank you for watching me do the Sudoku. And also thank you for uh, 
for watching me watch Life is Strange. We'll be back tomorrow, I think, and we will, um, we will, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, we'll do the next episode of, uh, of Life is Strange. Such a tea. Do you, do you want, do you guys actually want me to do Sudoku on stream? It'd be really frustrating for more, for me. Cause I do, I do silly mistakes like that. All right, I will find my own because I feel I feel kind of I feel hella scummy. Like, oh, Simon just released this on his YouTube channel. Let let me fucking also do it on stream within like an hour of him fucking uploading it and showing his solve. And now I'm just like fucking stealing. Like, g find your own puzzle, Joseph Anderson. You know what I mean? Like, like no, like that's not that's not cool, man. That's not cricket. That's fucking bobbins worthy. All right. Anyway, I'll catch you guys later. See you tomorrow. Do 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 do